At Burger King with my Burger Queen. Can I get a large fry? She's vegan, please, so don't put no cheese with some honey mustard on the side. I'm in town with my emo girlfriend. Living the dream I seen, Queen from 2010. She's still on MySpace, we're in the car, driving and we get hungry. Where do we go? We're almost out of money. Take a turn, see that sign. Back again and we know it's not the last time. Hello everyone. Can I get a large fry? She's more than a Netflix and chill. I am willing to buy her anything she wants to eat. Cause that's just what she's worth to me. I'm smoking the grass next to the city skate park. She's getting real hungry and says she's going to starve Through the door, stand in line We don't need a menu, it's not the first time we've been here I'm at Burger King with my Burger Queen Yeah, we're about to go to the, the regularly scheduled uh, Liquid Richard after this song. Or it was a funny song because it's a Burger King. You get it? <laughs> ack, ack, ack. Or we can go to the, the number one suggested video that I have, which is this. This is what is suggested to me by YouTube. Now that we got all our social credits core up, let's just go to your regular scheduled Liquid Richard Beats. <laughs> uh, hello everybody, thanks for joining me on this uh, day. It's snowing outside right now. I'm feeling the Christmas style chill. Fucking pistol grip. I would destroy your face. I would destroy your face. Oh, I'd beat you with a fucking pistol grip. Fucking pistol grip. Fucking pistol grip. Fucking pistol grip. I would destroy your face. Pulverize. I would destroy your face. Pulverize. You know people don't like fat people. You've seen people isolate you because you're fat. Because you're fat, you can't see your dick. Yeah, this the timing of the stream is EU friendly. Today it is. I don't really have sex because I'm fat and weak. You'll never be thin. Because I want to spend the, the late afternoon doing other stuff. We're gonna do this early. It's a secret stream from the American people. We're hiding from them. Fat tits of lordation. Because we're about to go into very controversial topics, such as DSP calling himself a racial slur. <laughs> he called himself. Dude. He doesn't realize it's gonna be the best fucking, uh, the best quote of all time. Also, I was thinking of making another DSP song. I just need to figure out what the, what the topic is gonna be. Pulverized. Pulverize. I would destroy your face. Big up Liquid Richard. Big up What's gonna be the Richard. next song? Let's go with uh, Liquid Richard Mustang, because I really want to hear that song. The modular Pepsi Mustang V6 Hoodlum uh, Pistol Grip. Rolls just drill me all day. Carrie Dunn. 
2014 Mustang V6. None of that V4 shit. That's for people that don't e big. Bitches don't give a fuck. They just suck in my dick. Driving in my Mustang. Bitches don't give a fuck. They just suck in my dick. If you have any ideas for a DSP song, like the big song, I'm gonna do one more. So uh, let me know what it is. Driving in my Mustang. Driving in my Mustang. It's a V6. Biggest bitch in my heart. I'm a fucking pain porn star. I'm fucking fucking pay porn star. Ten thousand dollar car that I could daily drive. Egg live stream begging begging money. Begging begging money. A big up support for super chat. Yawn, wow, you're early today. Sub chat. Uh, thanks, big up spall. I am up at a normal hour today for me. Oh yeah, it's a it's a European stream. The European style stream. I'm not afraid of one one and Obama. I'm not afraid of one one and Obama. George George spin on haters like a jet ski, crack their head like a Pepsi, crack their head like a Pepsi. The best beat motherfuckers out here got epilepsy. Crack their head like a Pepsi, Pepsi. Driving in my Mustang. Bitches don't give a fuck. They just suck in my dick. Driving in my Mustang. Bitches don't give a fuck. They just suck in my dick. Driving in my Mustang. Driving in my Mustang. It's a V6. Driving in my Mustang. Driving in my Mustang. It's a V6. Later, I'm gonna play one song that uh, my, my girlfriend thought was a banger. One of the Liquid Richard songs, she liked that a lot. She thought it sounds like a real song. That was her quote. Now, this video here I have a, as a Twitter submission for a song. I got a DM to me, so big ups to that. Let's, let's check it out. You damn right I was gay. I, I, I start sucking the BBC deep. You just watch my sweaty ass crack. Backshot and busts all over the marble table. <laughs> I'm like, oh, 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 oh. I, you know what? I do touch kids. Yeah, I was happy as fuck. Yeah, big ups to this. <laughs> well, this was uh, the song that I want to show you now. This is the next one. Going back to the the hard banging beats. And then I'm gonna play Stroke, and that's probably gonna be it. We can get into the the clips. For recap of the previous stream, DSP hated on Reddit, and uh, yeah, we watched some of the Metroid gameplay. That shit was miserable. That flow is out of sound like a week ago. Whole system broken like it's color go. Vision, I stick pussies with precision. Vision, I stick pussies with a hot kitchen. I hit it from the back. I hit it from the back. But unironically, uh, LTG should probably drop a verse on on some Liquid Richard song. I hit it from the back. Listen to this track. Your mom gives me double stacks. Pop on the BBC. Gets to her knee. Fucking worthless niggas. Go green. Ejaculation machine. Notification. Go green. Get get, get that ass big. Get get that ass big. Ejaculation machine. Notification. Go green. Get get, get that. Ass I've never heard somebody call themselves an ejaculation machine. Everybody come pull out. Very coomer thing to say. Clean up my chain. No, they're already out. 
flowers got stabbed like a week ago. Whole system broken like it's Yeah, this is the the song my soulmate says uh, it, it sounded like a real song. And then I just told her this is clips of uh, him saying stuff that they just put in a song. I hit it from the back. I hit it from the back. When you're fat, that's what she like to do. Get money when you're fat, that's what she like to do. Shout out to Chris Chan. I've drunk my own piss, man. Man, everybody, people cheat on their wife, man. It's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. People cheat. What's up with Chris Chan, by the way? He's still in jail. I don't know if he's gonna get trialed for the whole uh, incestuous relationship with his mom or something. You little soft music loving mother. Defend if she decides to press charges, I think. Maybe? What? I have no idea. That flow was out of sound like a week ago. Whole system broke it like his colleague go. Vision. I stick pussies with precision. Vision. I stick pussies within a hot kitchen. I hit it from the back. 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 All right, last song. Three minutes long. All stroke for all the strokers out there, people that want to bust. They got liquid, Richard. I hit that, and I have to bust. Get that ass, man. Oh, I just remembered what this song was. It's a good song. I'm a fucking baller, bitch ass nigga. This is low tier. <laughs> In this game, you know the rules. Swimming mark coming like a pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swimming mark coming like a pool. I stick my dick up in your mouth. I stick my dick up in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every little thing I do, it never seems enough. Fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> These videos. When was he fucking naked? What is this this clip from? What? I want you to play with the balls. You can feel the pain, baby. When you left the key and give you the BBC. This is an unbustable song. Wow. I'm not like yeah, what the fuck, guys? When was he? Oh, he was modeling? Maybe he does. Give me another dude. I'm gonna show you a thing or two from the BBC. In this game, you know the rules. Swimming are coming like a pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swimming are coming like a pool. Uh, the Jarbo, the Hut parodies I've seen, I think. Uh, back when uh, when he got busted on the kill stream, on the chill stream, he got really chill. <laughs> they caught him flagging people live. It was really fucking funny. But I don't know if he makes songs or something. I was thinking for the DSP song actually performing on it and, and putting a bunch of like effects on my voice. Oh, not like Thank a liquid ritual, uh, liquid, liquid yeah, Richard. Don't talk about uh, it. custom style song, more like uh, an actual like a performance. Because it's uh, I know how to pitch shift the voice like this, but it takes a massive amount of time. I'm not all that good at it. Anyways, hello everyone, welcome. Uh, how's it going? Breaking news: DSP calls himself a racist slur, and uh, yeah, that's that's it. Good night, everyone. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's let's get into some clips. First, we're gonna warm up with some. What was it? Did I even cue that up? I didn't, of course. Now we get to go on a on the fucking field trip again. Meltdown over Arnold Gate. Now that's the thing. That that is the one. First, I want to get to something before that, so we can just. Uh, get warmed up on the chill let's see dsp gaming let's watch his latest uh, daily rap let's see daily rap i wonder if somebody else uploaded okay there's one here 23 hours ago and vice city 
It's called Vice City Halo is saved and schedule change. Wow, so fucking good. Let's see. Is it this one? Is it this one? Let's queue them up by uh, the day. Okay. Okay, nice. 13 hours ago. Six hours ago. Can't tell which is the, the new one. The Arnold Gate in a nutshell. This was fucking great. Metroid is great. Oh, this was the, the previous one. Okay. Let's see this one. Fuck it. Straight from the, the pig's mouth. Uh, so big ups, everybody, for joining me today. Big ups to Chad. Hello. All the, uh, the regulars and the new people. Everybody is welcome. Uh, relax. Have a chill pill and a drink of your choice let's get into this if you want to support the stream drop a like drop a sub follow me on social you can follow me on fucking instagram if you want no posts whatsoever and you can follow me on reddit whatever you can do whatever you want good evening everyone and welcome to the daily wrap for monday december 6 2021 today was a pretty important day on my streams first of all I cleared the air a little bit about some horrendous bullshit that happened yesterday. Horrendous bullshit. Now, this is, uh, we're watching this after the fact. We're going to get the full context later because that whole video is 40 minutes long. So let's see him address it first and then uh, we'll, we'll see what the actual offense is. During my Metroid Dread stream and went into full detail about it. The full detail. You, know, I... you don't need to go into full detail for calling yourself <laughs> the N word. Uh, you don't need to. We, we got the context. I feel that we need to take a stand against bullying and negativity on the internet when we see okay, it. Okay, taking a stand. Stream podcast for today. If you're interested... You need to in take a sip, video. actually. As for gameplay today, the first stream was the premiere of the first full major stream of Vice City in the definitive edition of Grand Theft Auto. Um, it was great. It was a really great stream. It was a mix of fails, fun, seeing what things they actually changed. The appearance of the game is dramatically changed. Whoa, it's the graphics. Guess what? It's the graphics. Um, some what of else? Missions having checkpoints, some of them actually not having new checkpoints. Gunplay seems the same, but overall we had a blast. Great music and everything. We actually did the pizza delivery missions to try to get my health up for the early game. Um, it was definitely a good vibe. We had a great time together. I can't wait for more later this week. Then the late stream was a make or break kind of a stream for Halo Infinite. And here's why I say that. The last three times that I played Halo Infinite multiplayer on a late stream, the support was just not there. And now he's, he's, uh, he called this fucking video Halo is saved. Good fucking job, DSP. Halo is saved because he begged for it a bunch. He begged for it so much. He was complaining about it in pretty much the, the daily raps on Twitter. Oh my God, man, this guy is so lame. And now, now that he got the money that he begged for, now it's saved. Great. Another game held hostage. It seems like every game is fucking held hostage nowadays. I should just have all my thumbnails, like the ones from previous stream with, with him aiming the gun at, at Metroid, but just replace the game every time. But the weirdest thing about it was the views have been great. I've been enjoying Halo Infinite a ton. You guys have been telling me you enjoy Halo Infinite multiplayer a ton, and I'm getting better at the game. Like every time I play, I'm going, I'm beasting kill streaks. I'm, I'm beasting weapons, kill streaks. How to do them better. I'm just doing. Are you lit? Really good in the. Are game. you bussing? The game not. <laughs> Pro Hula beasting kill streaks entertaining to watch and to play and all the feedback i'm getting is play it more in fact when i started my stream tonight i did a poll right off the bat that said do you want to see it just as much as i've been playing it do you want me to still see hand graph hand graph up hand graph medium hand graph down but should I reduce that's how it works that i'm playing it or should i just not play it anymore and i like how he holds on to the hand graph like uh like here let's go back a little bit right off the bat that said do you want like, he, he holds on it for as long as he talks about it. He holds it on to this level so you can know what the level is. This guy is so fucking good. Do you want to see it just as much as I've been playing it? Do you want me to still see Halo Infinite multiplayer? Yeah, hold the on. That I'm playing? Okay. Or should and I then just, just kill it. Anymore and do something different. Over 50% of people said, keep it at the frequency it's going. So, it was a great stream. I had a lot of fun. I kicked butt. And kicked the butt. support actually was good tonight seriously so yeah did, did you get all the money from one guy we should check that out later as well i'm not saying that every night has to be overwhelmingly good but i think you guys understand what i'm saying now this is sadly my business as well as my job i can't have multiple streams in a row of the same game where the support is next to nothing okay tonight was great i have zero this is something that he should uh tell his wife basically or somebody who is close to him or his friends if he had any and then they would brainstorm for ideas how he can improve history so he doesn't have to, you know, cancel games and stuff. So he can get the support 
no matter what game he's playing but no he's gonna tell that to the viewers so you can hear this and you can be like hey okay i'm gonna give money to phil oh phil is begging i'm gonna give him the money man complaints we had a just great give him the money great conversation great support everything was good i'm hoping that moving forward when i play halo infinite we can kind of keep it at least similar levels or at least you know enough support to keep it going all right now there's a major change to the schedule this week i'm actually now going to be here on wednesday and i'm not going to be here on thursday originally it was going to be wednesday with there was uh, more like a big schedule in cat's schedule big change in her schedule it was my day off on thursday i'm back we're flipping that up so here's the schedule now for the rest of the week actually by the way this this guy is talking about this shit being a, a business and the channel going up and getting to a point like uh let's see if uh if he's on twitter i haven't seen his tweets in a long time because i realized that it's just the same repetitive thing all over and over again every single time now here have some uh, some nice tweet thanks to everyone this was two hours ago by the way so it was a 2 a.m tweet i actually checked his his time zone and it was almost 2 a.m it was like 140 or 150 or something thanks to everyone who has been engaging with my youtube videos again and leaving comments the likes help a lot and i'm having a blast i'm having a blast reading through all of your thoughts and feedback again because that's the a massive change now that he has comments enabled incredible it'll be a slow build to get back to feeling quote-unquote normal but i still love it and it has three exclamation marks you know he was he's been sipping so i i urge you to also take a sip of coffee of course all right guys ah dude shut up so yeah he's gonna go back to what is normal what is normal what is normal i think begging is normal guilt tripping your viewers is kind of normal at this point but yeah, the, the place of business, let's see. Let's see. All of these videos are under a thousand. This place of business. Oh, the daily rap from yesterday was great. That was a hot video, and, and that one 100% monetized because there's nothing copyrighted in it. Free stream as well. So it seems like people are just watching his rambling videos and not his playing games videos. It's interesting a very fun fact it's almost like he's more interesting when he rambles about shit he knows nothing about like on on pre-stream talked about fucking reddit i wonder why he didn't put reddit in the title since he rambled about it for 30 minutes straight then the daily rap that's a very popular video to a, a summary of his streams because it's great oh and it says <laughs> this is amazing look at this look at this the title of the video daily rap december 5th metroid is great lost judgment grind in capital letters i did not say that three exclamation points beautiful beautiful oh my god oh i'm sorry if this killed you what's going on everyone phil here and welcome to the daily wrap for what the fuck i didn't want to start watching this never mind let's go back to the schedule change i did not say that capital letters in the three exclamation marks the 7th of december tuesday will be the conclusion of Metroid Dread, I think. Oh! People are telling me the game's 9 to 12 hours long. I've played it 9 hours. This shit is still loud. I feel like I'm at the end of the game. But I guess people are saying, no, it really is the end. Maybe it ends abruptly. I'm not okay. sure. But if everything goes according to what people have been telling me, tomorrow will... And he's still playing Law's Judgment for some reason. For some reason, he's still playing it. I have no idea why. Metroid Dread. Again, since this is the finale stream of a Metroidvania game, it would be great for people to come out and support it. That would give me confidence that I could play more Metroidvania games in the future. I'm already kind of thinking of a few. People have been giving me suggestions. And now he's... Oh my god, this guy. He's been playing Metroid for like, what, a week? And he bitched about it. He pre-ordered the wage quit. He pre-ordered it. Because said that these games, notoriously, they don't make the views, they don't make the money. The port is very slow, nobody likes them, everybody hates them, everyone. And then he got a lot of money playing them for like two, three streams in a row. And now he loves it. He's considering playing more since you guys love them so much. It's more like the, the, him getting money is connected to people loving the game and not him complaining and ranting about how much, uh, how support is slow when he plays those games. It's totally not that. So the, the money doesn't correlate to the begging. It correlates to you actually loving those streams, right? That have never worked before. But this time that he begged mega hard for them, it worked out. That uh, sounds good in, in some way. Suggestions such as either Ori in the Blind Forest or Hollow Knight. Okay. Then 
on the late stream tomorrow night. It's the continuation. I wonder actually if I go and pick pig go. Let's go. Pig. Pig go dot net was it? I think it was dot net. No. Pick pig go. Mr. Brunel. Oh, okay, I probably wrote something wrong. And write support. That's all I'm gonna do. Just support. And let's see the trend. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. This is a nice ass trend. It exploded in November. 1019 times support. Actually, in, in June, he didn't need any. He, he said it only a hundred times. But now it exploded. It blew up. And before, he, he needed massive support in, in uh, previous summer. Summer of 2020. Massive support. And before that, he didn't need it. But 2017, you can see here. Late 2017, it explodes. Everything went wrong everywhere. And he needs that money. He really does to pay his bills. And this is why support was so fucking good. And now, if I was to give you a hand graph... I would say in 2015, support was this much. And then in 2017, when after the summer things went wrong, and also during the summer, it, it was this much. Then it became this much. Then it became this much, which is a decline. It's a hand grab going down. And then it became this much in June 2020. And now it's this much. This much. Sounds good. I hope you understood how much it was. Anyways, it was on the screen anyway, the actual graph. So, yeah. ...of lost judgments pushed through the school side content. Last time around, we got a major uh, chunk into the bike uh, missions, the bike club, that is. But then we had to stop doing them because we couldn't, didn't have the stats to continue. We had to go to the boxing missions. So now we're kind of alternating. We'll probably do more boxing missions, then probably maybe try to finish bike club and then keep pushing on. Keep in mind, there's still many clubs to do, but we're making solid progress every time we do it. I'm very excited to see where the resolution of all this goes with the whole professor plot line in the game. So I hope you'll join me for some chill fun on Wednesday, or excuse me, on Tuesday night. Now, Wednesday was supposed to be my day off. It's not. On Wednesday now, I'll be doing the Halo Infinite campaign on the first stream. What people are telling me is that it's supposed to release 1 p.m. Eastern time. That means it's 10 a.m. Pacific time. I don't start even streaming gameplay till noon or later. So what? You can do it earlier. So you have nothing better to do. of time for me to actually get it set up, downloaded, and everything during the pre-stream, and we can play it on the main gameplay stream, okay? Wait, I thought so it was during the, the podcast. Right now, the premiere of Halo Infinite campaign on Wednesday's main stream, and then Wednesday night, we're going to do Forza Horizon 5, my weekly session of that game, okay? Thursday now will actually be my day off of the week. When All I right, sounds Friday, good. Um, that means Thursday is, uh, is Cat's day off. It'll either be more... Because DSP, the mature adult, gets his schedule determined by uh, some manager at the Cat's job. Vice City or Halo Infinite Campaign. Uh, I'm on the fence about this because here's the thing. If I do Vice City for variety's sake, great. And then Friday night will be my weekly throwback Street Fighter session. But then what would happen is on Saturday, it would actually end up being both Halo campaign both? and Halo multiplayer. And even as someone who likes Halo Infinite, I think that's too much Halo in one day. Okay. So what I'm thinking is maybe what I should do is I can do Halo Infinite campaign on Wednesday, then maybe do it again on Friday. Yes, I know the people who want Vice City would be a little disappointed. But then on Saturday, I could do Vice City as the mainstream. And then we can do Halo Infinite multiplayer as the late stream. And then on Sunday, we can start alternating back. Uh, big ups to Cobalt for, uh, Cobalt for Super Chat says, Good morning, dude. How long are you going to be streaming? I can sort of listen while working at these hours. Probably going to go for about three hours, maybe four. Depends. We'll see. But at least for another two and a half hours, at least. The two. Big see, ups for the Super Chat. what I'm thinking right now. Obviously, give me your feedback and let me know what you think of that. We could change it up depending on what you think. Leave a comment on this video. Let me know, what should I do first? Should I do Halo Infinite, have my day off, Halo Infinite again? Or should I do Vice City and then have a whole day of Halo Infinite on Saturday? Give me your opinion and we'll try to figure this out together. Okay. The thing is that that is, is kind of weird. He's not playing uh, Halo on launch day. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um... I don't know why he's gonna miss out the day one views and his channel definitely needs those it's like it's for your business man you kind of have to and i know his day off is supposed to be this massive event it's like a Fortnite event when uh when travis scott is performing not shout out to travis scott an anti shout out 
but yeah it's the same fucking thing it's like the biggest thing ever he goes all around the world pays all the bills buys all the groceries ever but man come on play the fucking game launch day get the day one views you could use them look at this it's got 300 views for like six hours but i guess his uh, fans are sleeping right now let's see the previous stuff as well it's kind of miserable dread one of those parts part nine got 2k views because he probably said uh, the end bomb in it and part seven got 475 because he didn't do anything this was a fucking miserable experience then gang takeover finale is so bad rage in uh, gta san andreas the definitive edition and i guess that was it he finished the game probably san andreas ends vice city begins yeah fucking nice so yeah, this shit is doing miserable. He needs those day one views. Because everybody's going to be on that game. And even his fans are going to watch someone else play it. Because it's just the day one shit. Uh, some weird stuff, man. Now, let's go to the actual truth of the fact of the matter. Of uh, the in reality of the situation. Oh, I don't have it here. Fuck. I have to go all the way back. To him saying the first word that should not be named and he actually called himself that which is even more bizarre let's see the uh, fucking posted it let's see because i found it earlier maybe it's here uh physical media that was that was one this was the debunk stream pretty much everybody posted it i need here maybe it's probably it's here yeah, oh, here it is, here it is. The Arnold Gate reactions. So this is the whole thing with the whole context and the whole rant after that. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go see it. Yeah, big ups uh, in chat to Ace, man, who likes the stream, that's, that's awesome. And uh, big ups to TJ. Three. 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 Game Trucker just did another $10. So I'm compelled to tip you again for another epic moment. Okay, now let me just explain the, the context of this. You got a tip. The animation for the tip, the, the pop-up is a face swap of DSP and Arnold Schwarzenegger from a movie that was some Christmas movie. I don't even know which one it is. But uh, let's see what's going to happen now. Also, we get to see Jingle all the way animation again. Yes. <laughs> Arnold Okay. Fills and fills and nigger, right? Right. How do you say? How do you say? Uh, Brunel's and nigger. And now he he completely realized what was happening. And wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this up on a on a big screen so you can all see what is what this is about. Let's see here his reaction and how it all how it all went out in in the piggy's head. Cause he panicked massively. You can see it in his eyes. He was scrambling. He realized, oh my god, I fucking said it. I said it. Just like the stationary time. Let's see it again. Arnold fills a fills a nigger. Okay. Right? Says it. Realization sets in. How do you say? Okay, I'm screwed. I'm gonna start saying random stuff that makes no sense. Look at this now. Uh Brunel's a Brunel's a nigger. Brunel's a what? What is the Brunel? Ek ek ek. Alright, let us continue. Let's continue. Now he's gonna see he's getting called out. Massively, let's see. Looks at chat. Hoy. Disaster. Eternal Avon says it was for the parry. I was just about to, to hit. Talking about the parry, okay. That parry. <laughs> awesome. I gotta do more of that. I gotta do more parrying. What? What? Schwarzenegger's stupid, but people are dumb. What did he say? How about, how about that? Let's see it again. It. Oops. Arnold fills and fills and nigger. Wow, that was exactly on point, man. This is like how how Google Translate would pronounce it. Oh, and then then it's something else. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. I gotta do more of that. I gotta do more parrying. <laughs> this what? is so fucking nice. Schwarzenegger, stupid, but people are yeah, it's stupid. What did you say? I said a take on Schwarzenegger. You know his last fucking name, you stupid idiots? That's not a bad word, so shut the fuck up. 
you idiot. He said a take on it, but it was so bizarre because he's he said Arnold and then he said Phil the Nager, which is like, why would you even say Phil? You should be saying Burnell because that's your surname and you're making that into the Schwarzenegger surname. It, it's so bizarre, but he just it, it's incredibly fucking ironic because I think DSP is the only person who can call himself a racial slur and then fucking backpedal it and explain how he didn't actually say it despite him saying it. I didn't say I didn't say the word you're insinuating I said dumbass. No, we're not insinuating. It's it literally is. Now fuck off. <clears throat> okay. Let's even see the subtitles. I think the subtitles are going to be yeah, it's it's going to be blank. Let's see if it's going to get blank. Even though the uh, the subtitles aren't a thousand percent accurate, but still. Let's see this. I'm compelled to tip you again for another epic moment. Also, another epic moment. The animation again, yes. <laughs> Arnold Filzen, Filzen nigger, right? How do you say? Yeah, it blanked it. The subs blanked it as well. Yeah. And then the realization set, uh, set in. Let's, let's just see it one last time. One last time. How do you say? Uh, Brunel's it? Okay, now he's he's scrambling. He realized he said it, but he can't admit he said it. Here, right? <laughs> Very nice. And yeah, the him wearing the hat makes it so much more, so much more interesting. All right, let us continue. Um. Boy. Yes. Now fuck off. <clears throat> fuck off. Okay. Morons. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. It's already back. Okay, now we're back to to today, to reality. Okay, fair enough. Um, so that's one of the major things going on. Um, very briefly, I would like to very much address something stupid that happened yesterday on my uh, Metroid Dread stream, just to clear the air, because it's, it's so dumb, there's really nothing to even It's so about. dumb. Once again, the internet is such a boring place for losers that what they try to do is they try to cling on to stuff that's not real, and turn it into something for their own personal benefit and gain. And as you guys know, recently my streams have been going really great. Everything's been going good in my content and on my streams. And, you know, right now the holiday season's in full swing. People are enjoying everything I'm doing. And, you know, holiday festive feelings on my streams, animations, everything going great, right? And so people who don't like me hate that. Oh, my God, Phil's doing well. Oh, my God, he's been doing streams where people are supporting <laughs> the streams in droves. Who is saying this? Who is saying Phil is doing well? You have to ask for money every day. Look at this. Let's uh, let's explore this once again. Halo is saved, right? Halo is saved, so this is about him needing money yet again. Metroid is great, which is in relation to him needing money to play Metroid. And also in this uh, daily wrap, it also says, I did not say that, so I wonder what this is going to be about. Now, let's see some more begging. Nintendo stuff. Here, he probably begged here. No, this was a different kind of disaster. This was the helicopter company disaster. Metroid Dread Fun, that was related to him making money. And it's like, who, who even is thinking that? Oh no, Phil. Oh, Phil is doing fucking good? I should be fucking hating on it, man. They're hating on you because you're not doing good. That's the whole thing. That's why it's funny. He's not doing good. And the content is good. And, the, you know, things are going better on DSP Gaming on YouTube. You're kidding me. He's actually getting subs on the channel now. People are starting to like his videos and leave comments on the videos and positive stuff. And there's growth on DSP Gaming. What? <laughs> what? Who says this growth on DSP Gaming? This is a fucking almost 200k sub channel that can barely break a thousand views. And here we can say he can't. Let's go a little bit back. Uh, it barely breaks a thousand views with some of the Forza stuff from four days ago is like 600. For something that is supposed to be your bread and butter, man, this is the majority of your channel is these game playthroughs. The majority of it. Just parts on top of parts on top of parts and thumbnails with, uh, with the number of the playthrough and so on and so forth. And you can barely break a thousand, which is supposed to be your job. Usually it's not a fucking bad thing if you're just a YouTuber and you can't get a thousand doing whatever you like. It's not a whatever but he wants it to be a place of business this is the place of business for burnell productions the place of business and he's saying things are going good how are they going good how are they going good how are you gonna go back to where you once were what you you want to have uh, active subs they don't watch this shit 
they don't watch it so if they sub it's probably to talk in your chat and then they get banned and they leave the sock account alone maybe they don't even unsub so yeah that's kind of how it works but people apparently are saying and that's a troll saying that's uh that's us maybe probably that we're saying he's doing good so let's make up that he said a racial slur even though he did and not only did he say it he called himself that very nice how but that's that's what we're saying remember how dare phil how dare phil a modicum of success no uh plus this was the same guy that was mega thankful on thanksgiving because people who have success they're not always happy but he's happy he's the happy guy now we have to do everything in our power to try to ruin that despite the fact that it's december it's christmas fucking month right it's the month of the year when everyone should be feeling jolly and festive and positive goodwill toward men maybe this would be the month where we don't act like scumbags to dark side phil what he says this every year and uh he loves uh, he loves those occasions where he can say hey it's it's thanksgiving and people are still hating on me it's my wedding and people are still hating on me it's it's the season of christmas and people are still hating on me it's uh it's pride month and people are still hating on me it's black history month and people are still hating on me it's fucking ridiculous he looks for every occasion to make it like nobody should be hating on him because it's generally a time of year that people don't hate on people it's ridiculous dude come on then be then don't be toxic during fucking christmas don't be begging for support for your um the halo streams and the metroidvania uh, metroid streams he likes calling metroidvania uh, metroid a uh, metroidvania very nice the game that the genre the subgenre is named after he likes calling that game the subgenre very nice fat chance of that ever happening right because when you're a full-time loser you never take time off from harassing people online <laughs> The DSP takes time off, though. He's a full-time loser who takes a day off. So last... No, well, I say last night. Yesterday... <clears throat> Plus, if, if everybody was full-time, we would probably... I don't know. Be harassing him a lot more. Full-time? You mean like 40 hours a week? Wow. I was playing uh, Metroid Dread. And actually, you can... Act if you watched the pre-stream earlier from yesterday as well, um, there's a running joke going on during the day. What was the running joke? That you said the fucking N-word? <laughs> that was the, the running joke. Is that I called myself a, a racial slur. Okay, then when someone does a $10 tip, there's an animation that plays from Jingle All The Way, the, the holiday movie. The running and joke. Schwartz is it like a meme? And Oh, it's Arnold. Uh, Arnold who? Superimposed over Arnold's face as he punches a Satan. Superimposed. Also looks like me. Right? Animations are great this year. I absolutely love them. Shout out to the person who made these awesome animations for me this year. It's By the way, the same animations, uh, there is a detractor that, that made those same ones. Same-ish. Really helping the streams and making them- They're not exactly the same. They're not exactly okay. stolen. <clears throat> so the running joke is that, oh, that's a hybrid oh. of Phil and Arnold. And I think I, I made, uh, I made the joke during the pre-stream. I was like, oh, it's Arnold Schwarzenbernal. Right? I said no, 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 no. What did you say? Arnold Schwartz and Burnell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is this exactly what he said? Arnold Schwartz and Burnell. I'm fucking sure it is. I'm sure it is. And I'm sure he he completely unintentionally remembered it exactly like that. Because that's what it says. That's what he said. He remembered it in the way that he would specifically ignore and change the part that was actually the the fact of why they criticized him for exactly schwartz and burnell that's exactly what he fucking said that during the pre-stream yesterday yeah or something like that so people are, are claiming that i said the n-word but i don't even know what it, it was about it was schwartz and burnell when is the where's the n-word in that oh so now we are playing metroid dread mr schwartz and burnell hello you know we're in the middle burnell? of gameplay and s multiple people tip that level it's like ten dollar level and so that animation is playing over and over and over okay in like a loop like three times back to back it's playing or at least twice maybe three times back to back and everyone's laughing and joking about it and i was started to try to make hybrids of the name whoa you know arnold schwarzenegger and my name so i think like what like um 
Uh, he doesn't even fucking remember. Dude, come on. You can't remember the thing that was a big controversy that you said in your daily rap video that you did not say it. It was with capital fucking letters. Come on, you can't be acting like you don't know what it was and pretending to struggle to remember what it was. You saying a racial slur. Come on. You Even you're not that dumb. Even you're not. Not even you, Phil. I'm trying to remember the first one I said. But basically... What was it? I'm trying to remember it. Look at how lame he is. Because he's even not sure if, if he says it now, he's going to say it right. And not say it with the Ed word in it again. The things that I said, and to avoid problems since people are such ass... Because the, the thing is, the thing is, if he was like a normal fucking guy and said it just whatever, slip of the tongue, whatever. Like the first time he said the stationary, the stationary thing. And he owned up to it and was like... Dude, I just fucking said it by accident. Didn't mean it. The, it wasn't in context. It wasn't addressing anything at all. It was just a slip of the tongue. I'm sorry. My bad. I would have been fine. But this is why we stick around and, and nitpick this guy so much. Because now he's lying and he's pretending to not even remember what he said. Assholes and they'll try to re, re flag and say stuff again. I basically said like Phil and then the second half of Arnold. Yeah, he does have to spin it. He has to spin it because the what objectively happened that we just saw is makes him look bad. And he can't address it properly uh, it, unless he calls people assholes and shitheads and tell them to go fuck themselves and shows them middle fingers through the internet. Schwarzenegger's last name. And it sounded exactly like that. It sounded like half my name and then half of his name. There was no way if you're watching the video or watching the stream in context that you could misconstrue that. No, you can. Yes, you can. You, totally, you can. I know what the context was, but the way you said it was not the way that Arnold Schwarzenegger's name works. That's not how it is. It, it, that's not how it is. Come on. Just say you're a bad man, but he can't be wrong about fucking anything. He can't be wrong. Can't be wrong. Okay. It's like if he's wrong, the game is over. He has to restart and saves come again. Just like in GTA and uh, Lost Judgment. But these idiots say, Oh my god, did you hear what Phil said? That kind of that kind of sounded like a bad word. Oh my god, Phil's a racist. Like, what? <laughs> Phil is a racist even <laughs> despite that. And again, it's a joke. Anyone watching the stream is laughing. They're like, this is hilarious. You know, it's funny. Uh, what is funny is that you said it and now you completely ignore the fact that you said it on video. It's not even something else, man, or in chat or on Twitter, something else. That it on video and there's fucking evidence of it. But let's just ignore it. Let's say I said something else, but I don't remember what it was, but it was uh, it was uh, Arnold's name, but it was my name, but it was uh, Burnell's uh, something. Wait, what, what was it? Uh... Arnold Schwartz Burnell. That's what he says. Yeah, Schwartz Burnell. And people were so upset. Why would they be so upset about Schwartz Burnell? Maybe because in, in German it means black Burnell. I don't know. That's not very offensive. What's going on in the stream? It's the animation everything. And then oh, you, you notice... You yeah, and it's also... The, the thing is that you would usually not be having slip of the tongues like that unless the word is in your vocabulary. It's kind of weird because it's it's with the stationary is the same thing. It's like sometimes words slip out, but if it's a word that you don't really use or not use at all, it, it's kind of confusing. Why would it slip out like that? You start noticing the drama queens in the chat because they were all quiet and behaving. Then all of a sudden they all start piping in. Did you hear what Phil said? Oh my God, did you hear what Phil said? Did you hear what Phil said? It's like, what? What are you talking about? And everyone who's on the stream was like, what are you talking about? Like that? There's no, no. <laughs> they fucking called him out in his own chat. What are you talking about? That's what everyone on the stream was talking. Everyone in attendance, as he calls it. And then all of a sudden, 10, 20, 30 people start coming into the stream at once. Guess who they were watching, right? They were obviously watching the restreamers, the rebroadcasters. Who was restreaming that? Fun of me all day. And they start stirring. I was restreaming it. The that's the that's the funny shit. We we bounced before he said it. If he if I was restreaming him still, he, it would have been much funnier. But no, we left to watch some uh, other shit. You hear Phil said this, Phil said like, what are you talking about? No, Phil didn't say anything. We were here. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Right? Like, what? You're, you're, you're out of your mind. This is exactly to a T. What, what happened, happened on Twitch? Many months ago, over on Twitch.
So if you're not- and Now he's <laughs> he's looking at chat to see if Pignosis is working. That he, he claimed that everybody who was on the stream was, uh, what are you talking about? Where? The, the actual reason why I left Twitch was this reason, okay? I was streaming Returnal. And in the middle of streaming Returnal, when you pick up items and stuff while you're playing it, there's all these pop-ups that happen on the screen that read stats of items you're picking up. And remember, in Returnal, it's RNG. You don't know what items you're going to get or what, what enhancements they're going to do. On the fly, you have to be paying attention to these items because you want to pick up the right ones to give you enhancements to, to enhance your combat. I was in the middle of a fight with enemies all around me. And I was reading the, the descriptions of the items dropping on the ground. And one of the words I said was like a jumble. Like I had basically I got tongue tied. That's the fucking thing, man. This guy sucks. Because he tries to explain to you something that happened long ago. But is not going to tell you what he said exactly. But this is his defense segment. He's supposed to. It's like he's fucking in court or something. In, in inter, internet court. And he's explaining himself. Okay, this happened. And this time I was playing this game. This popped up. And this is what it said. And then I said it in some different way. It's like, wait, man. We just got to the facts and the actual event that people are criticizing you for. And you don't remember what it is. You don't know what you said. Uh, there's no proof of it, obviously. It's like this guy would go to jail if he had to defend his case. I was in the middle of saying something. And it I was... was uh, what word was it? That sounded... Negative. Kind of like a bad word, but it definitely no. wasn't. I, I don't think negative sounds like a bad word. Unless you associate every word that sounds like the bad word with the bad word. And I said half of the word, but then skipped forward to like another word. So I like, it was all jumble. If you listen to it, it doesn't sound like anything. It sounds like, blah, 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 you know, tongue tie. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So completely misrepresenting the events. Uh, tongue, tongue tied. Let's see. Let's just uh, look up stationary. It should show up. Uh, oh, there it is. Big ups to Ann Lee for the, the hot video. Maybe people just like to hear what hear what my wife is good at making or whatever? I don't know. Okay, just look at him. You don't need to look at the gameplay. The gameplay is trash. One stationary neg negative 75% damage. That's really bad. And now we can actually see his chat. I'm going to close mine for a second here. We can see his chat that in that occasion was probably also not, uh, not reacting. They didn't say anything. They were just like, whoa. He, he didn't do anything, man. Why are people uh, hating on Phil? Let's see. Let's see the, the event again. One stationary, neg negative 75% damage. That's really bad. Okay. Now we're about to see Chad blow up. Okay, now we're going from food to an explosion in chat. Okay, somebody starts it. Oh my god, that was almost the n-word. Somebody else. Did he just... Phil emoji? Somebody says. Uh-oh, oh, I heard it too. Oh, almost said a bad word there. What was just said? Same? Okay, we keep going. Hold up. Chat blows up. They just realized. N-word. Whoa, did he say that? I didn't say oh, shut the f fuck up. I didn't say anything. What the hell are you talking about? People are fucking dumb, man. No, you didn't hear anything. You're stupid. Maybe maybe you're hearing bad words on the stream because you want to hear them because you're a fucking idiot. You ever think of that? Chad is still blowing up. And him lashing out at Chad doesn't make anything better in, in pretty much any way. Alright, nothing there. And he got suspended for this after it got unsuspended. Seriously, people are like, oh, he said the N-word. What? What? Why the fuck did I say anything that even sounded like the N-word? What the fuck are you talking about? Fucking idiots. Oh, uh, no vest, guys. There's no vest because we didn't hit the tip skull. The vest is where when we hit the tip skull, we did not hit the tip skull today. And goes from, from responding to saying the N-word to the tip skull. Very nice. Uh, excuse me, the, the $100. Tip chat is still blowing up. The total tips goal is 200. I'll Even his chat, imagine what the a restreamer's chat would be like. It's not for 100, but he didn't hit it, so. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, 
Okay, let's let's go back to uh, him saying it, and that's gonna be it. One stationary nigger, negative seventy five percent damage. That's okay, this was a slip. Like this was a a slip of the game or word. But let's see how he represented this event. Let's see it again. Enhance your combat. I was in the middle. Okay. Of the fight with enemies all around me, and no. I was reading the the descriptions of the items dropping on the ground. And one of the words I said was like a jumble. Like I had basically I got tongue tied. I was in the middle of saying something, and it was a word that sounded kind of like a bad word, but it was definitely okay. So th there was no combat. He's just destroying stuff. Was collecting stuff. Hear what my wife. Okay. Now what does this say? Large ma malignant resin fills two slots towards max integrity upgrade, but is infected with malignancy. I don't know what this does, but it making or whatever. I don't know. Okay, let's see this. Let's see the next one. The next pop up. Oh, that's terrible. One stationary neg negative seventy five percent damage. That's really bad. Negative stationary negative seventy five percent damage. I don't know what this uh, phrase is supposed to mean. Stationary negative. Okay, but yeah, he was he was just uh, wandering around. It wasn't like a a thing or something, but it was a slip. He didn't meant to, to say this, but yeah. Definitely wasn't. It kind of sounded like it, but he can't even remember what he said. This thing that he's he's defending himself against. And I said half of the word, but then skipped forward to like another word. So I like it was all jumble. If you listen to it, it doesn't sound like anything. It sounds like blah, 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 you know, tongue. -tongue. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. that's how it just sounded. Sounds like, I guess, um, a bad word. And so what did the trolls do? Oh, the trolls did it. Your chat accused you too. Your chat blew up with no relation to the trolls because that's your chat. They literally isolated just the clip, not the actual scene of what was going on. They this was actually a... No, no, that's not true. Now, this video that we just watched uh, has almost uh, 30k, I think. So this is one of the main videos of him doing it. Yeah, it has almost 30,000. And it's a three-minute video with the context of the word exclusively presented on your screen he's wandering around he sees some fucking pickup takes it says the the stationary sentence keeps going it's not a massive fight so he's already wrong about several of these things just and it took me five minutes to fact check fact check him he took a clip of that stream in just the moment of me saying half a word yeah sure okay? and they sent it to twitch and mass reported me and said phil was saying racist stuff on his stream and the morons at twitch are so fucking stupid because if you don't know it's 2021 and twitch still has a volunteer moderation staff i just want to emphasize this they're a major company rolling in money they make millions of dollars a day on profit of people who put content on their site and they still have a volunteer moderation staff yes you also do so and you're a business, right? Chronic volunteer moderators looked at this clip out of context, okay, and said, "Yeah, oh, I'm definitely, I'm word. definitely gonna try out Returnal when I get the the PS5. I'm gonna get a uh, the Death Loop as well. I'm playing Dishonored 2 right now, and I really like it. I I'm a big fan of the Arcane Studios games. And actually banned me from Twitch. Yes. Now obviously it didn't happen. It's fact. They ban people for less. Actually incorrect. Just look at Tevin." Back in the day, not now. Now he's doing well, big ups. So I disputed that and I said, you're out of your mind. This didn't happen. I demand that you reinstate the channel immediately because this is completely erroneous and I'm not gonna put up with this. Completely erroneous. Two hours of me requesting it, it was removed. And I was allowed to go back and stream on Twitch again, but I was like, so then let me get this straight about Twitch, right? This is a situation where clearly I didn't do the, the thing wrong that they're claiming I did. A There's movie no is called uh, Jingle All the Way. If you actually all right, take five seconds to see the context of what people are saying, I yes, it didn't happen. All you need to do. What do you mean it didn't happen? No, it it happened. Now both of these happened. It's all about like he just said, taking the context and seeing what that any of that means. Now none of these offenses were racist, as we would see with other offenses, uh, where ESP gaming racism. Because, of course, that's uh, really nice. Okay, Ultimate Racism Compilation is 30 minutes long. So we're, we're gonna obviously check this out uh, after this video. 
but yeah as always it's just about taking the context and seeing what it means by in uh what he meant in the context of uh of all these words that he used and in this case he didn't mean anything but he did say them but he's even denying having said them but instead as his proof he's gonna tell you that he doesn't know what he said or he said uh phil schwartz burnell which is super offensive of course everybody can derive something offensive out of it right watch the, the gameplay hello renee what, what they're saying happened never happened and uh do i think his his hair is greased or it's uh it's like gel or something as far as i know he just uses water so before he goes on stream he just waters his hair so all you need to do is be intelligent and you would realize that this didn't happen yet they punished me because they're unintelligent they're they are unintelligent unintelligent what yeah it's probably both people? as well it's probably just grease and water is on mass in the future Right? What's this? But probably not gel, because if it was gel, he had to wash it off after the fact. Or or if it was wax. Stop Twitch from saying... And he showers once a week, so yeah. Yeah, and washing that shit off. Oh, Phil did this, Phil did that. Anytime there's a mass report from these trolls, they're just gonna believe it, and fucking then I have to... Okay, that's how it works. Fact. No, I'm not gonna put up with that. I'm just not. I'm not gonna try to make a living on a site that's so unprofessional. Right? And by the way, it had only been a few weeks prior. That they kick me out of the partner program with okay maybe not once a week i don't know uh, as far as i know from what he says it's once a week showers but yeah. i did something wrong there's, there's clips of it how did they say it? how the fuck did they say we just saw it what the fuck man oh you were, oh okay I, I, it's an o you get the o forget at this point what yeah. they hateful slurs or hateful speech or something i don't even know what they said anymore. they don't even he doesn't even know what he said he's defending himself right now i don't even know what i said i don't even know what they said I said this in this kind of context, but everybody's ignoring the context, but I didn't say anything that sounded at all like a hateful slur, but I said a word that kind of sounds like it, but I said Phil Schwartz Burnell. That's what I said. Anymore. Please, please believe me. And if you believe me, please step. That's how it works. I'm so at a loss for it. And I was like, okay. This Skyrim music getting a little bit aggressive. No, I didn't. Getting too intense. Evidence. And this was me talking with the legal team. At Twitch, I said, you're required by law to show me evidence. And if you have no evidence to show me, then I request that you're going to reinstate my channel immediately or else I'm going to leave your site and not use it anymore. Guess what happened? They refused to provide any evidence. They didn't want to talk to me about it further. Basically, they just said, oh, well. And I was like, well, I'll do my best because here's the thing. I was between a rock and a hard place back then. I was like, if I leave Twitch, I'm abandoning this community that I built for four and a half years. This community, which I've dedicated full time my work life to, you know, for four and a half years. I mean, full time begging over on Twitch, right? The views we had, the all the views we have. That's the first thing he's going to talk about. The views we had. It was amazing. Just call it attendance. Sounds more professional, right? It was crazy. Fucking it, was idiot. Good, it felt like a good social thing over there, right? A, a group of people who every day came together, and enjoyed games. It was a really good group. And I knew that if I up Well, he, he did tell everyone why he was departed. He had that special pre-stream about it where when he read the, the email verbatim and it said hateful slurs. And then after that, he said, what hateful slurs, you... What was it? You lame brain pieces of dumb fucking shit. That's, that's what he said. And he immediately burned his bridge with Twitch. My business from Twitch and moved over here to YouTube and plopped it down. Not everyone was going to come over in the transition. To this day, we still get people who are on the streams here who are like, hey, I'm finally coming to YouTube. It's been, you know, six, seven months you've been on YouTube. I'm finally here to check out. Yeah, these people are incredibly, uh, incredibly slow if they like you a lot, but it takes him months to open a new tab and write YouTube and then go to the search and write DSP gaming. They're very slow if that's happening to them. Your YouTube content. It's like, dude, wow definitely yeah some random people that used to watch him so much they loved him on twitch can open a new tab and go on youtube and write dsp gaming they can't do that that's what migration is about they needed to get a passport they needed to get the the coronavirus certificate they need to get all their vaccines to be able to travel yeah that's how it fucking works right that certainly took you a long time right <laughs> but i'm happy to have the people but you understand what i'm saying any change is usually hard to accept. It's a slow ad ad adoption of a change like this. Adoption. And even though I'm pleased with what we've done with these streams on YouTube this year, right? Hey, what's I up, Machenka? Shout out to Machenka DK. I was so used to being you know on why? Twitch and the mannerisms of the way that things work on Twitch, the chat and everything, the moderation. 
and trying to make things work on YouTube. You know, it's very different over here. Every time I set up a stream, I have to set up a new stream. You can't even sit in a chat room. What? And, and talk set up a new stream? What? Constantly, it changes every stream. And this is ridiculous. What do you mean you have to set up a new stream? Yeah, you can just press reuse settings from your previous stream. Or you can reuse a different stream setting. This is ridiculous, man. What is this? He's just padding out the excuses that he has. So pathetic. Stuff. It's very different. I tried for three plus weeks to stay on Twitch, even though I was out of the partner program for no valid legal reason. They legal reason. Well, you weren't re really legally binded to, to them. So yeah, they, they're not, it's not their job to give you a legal reason. That's how these sites work. And you should kind of know that when you're doing stuff. That's why you should probably not say racial slurs or hateful slurs on your streams. They can just terminate you, not tell you why, and that's going to be it. Because they don't really owe you an explanation, unless you're like a big shot. Hey, big up Machenko DC, uh, DK for becoming a member. Had no evidence of anything I had done wrong, and they refused to provide big ups. Okay. Had no evidence, I yeah. I tried to stay there for your sake, basically. For the sake of the viewers who were there. And I no, he's, he's never going to Facebook gaming. Because all of his pay pigs are going to have to make a sock account to watch him. Because they're going to be there with their real names and places of work, and all their relatives in their profile pictures. Which there's nothing bad in that because it's Facebook, but DSP is not going to like that. They're going to start complaining. I built this community around. I didn't want to abandon that right away. So I basically tried my best. And big ups for being a mature adult with a business degree. Tips, there was no super, uh, just running on tips. There were no cheers. <laughs> there were no the other engines were disabled. He was just running on tips. He was gliding down. It wasn't a, a fall, but he was gliding. It was just tips. And honestly, after about three weeks, it wasn't so bad. It certainly wasn't great, but it wasn't so bad. I was thinking maybe we could still pull it off. And then this thing happened in Returnal, where people mass flagged me saying I had said something. And he also, he's fucking picking his ears so much nowadays, man. And now there's no excuse because he has the neck phone, so he's not able, he's not supposed to be having any ear infection or ear-related issues whatsoever until the end of time. That was the marketing for, for the the headset for the neck phones but he's picking his ear all the time there's clips of him picking his ear looking at it wiping it in his pants it's fucking disgusting man just turn off the camera let's go to the previous pre-stream fucking layout let's just do that i didn't say and then they actually suspended me hey what's up uh pseudo monica Erroneous. and all the other frogas that just joined uh this early stream and that was the, the definitely that was the straw that broke the camel's back for me where I was like, if this could happen, this is just the beginning of the end. This is like the least. Oh, let me get my chat back up on screen. The boat that later on is just going to explode and the whole boat's going to sink. You see, I don't want to have a leaky boat. I don't want a, a leaky boat. boat. What do you mean, man? A leaky fucking boat? It's a sinking boat. It's sinking. At this point, it should be called a submarine of how much it sank. What are you talking about? Bruh. Uh, let me go and fine because i'm not gonna pull it up again you know can't get views can't get subs has to beg for members has to beg for tips what do you mean a leaky boat i want to be on a nice secure boat where we're all having a good time we feel safe the boat ain't rocking the boat ain't leaking we're just you know this is it's like the cost of concordia of of streaming cool a cool cruise we're on here together on is that boat that got stuck in the where was it in the in the panama canal or whatever it was sideways so it caused a mass uh a mass crisis in logistics was ridiculous. Right? I don't want it that at any moment I'm walking on fucking eggshells because God forbid someone says I did something I didn't do. There's a fucking moron that works. There's a moron. And yeah, sure. Bans me for it when it didn't. What do you mean? Believe it? There's clips of it. What do you mean? It's not hearsay. It's not hearsay. They send them a clip and they watch the clip and they're like, "Yeah, this guy said the n-word. Let's suspend him," or something fucking happen and then they're gonna fix it after the fact no fuck you i'm just not gonna deal with your unprofessional ridiculous bullshit you guys suck and that yeah the, the costa concordia was a completely different disaster there's a, a great video by internet historian about it very very well made decision i made is like when that happened i said that's it that is the end of that i'm moving to youtube okay so the reason I'm bringing this up and giving you the history is because yesterday a similar situation happened here on a Metroid Dread stream. And I hate to say it, a bunch of drama queen pieces of shit 
decided to try to make videos <laughs> about it and say that I did something that I didn't do. If you Except you did, and it's in the video. Except you did, and it's in the video, and it's also in this video, because uh, Hate Army Watch wanted to give us context. In context? The context, exactly. That's why it's in this video. And that, you know it didn't happen. You're like, wait a minute, I'm watching it now. This didn't happen. Phil was joking about Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he makes a hybrid of his name and, and Arnold's name over and How? over. How? Yeah, okay. Uh, what What was it? Trying to find funny combinations or whatever. W was it funny? And then he continues on with the stream. Just, you know, brushes it Did they laugh or they thought you were a racist? Off and ignores it. Why is it that these idiots have to laugh? Brushes it off? Come on. Come on. There's probably a recording of his chat somewhere. Catch on to this and act like Dude. something bad happened. And by the way, do you think they matched? Yeah, there's 40 minutes of context. Of course they fucking did. They're assholes. They're scumbags. I don't know what he expects us to do. To download his entire stream and upload it completely raw for the whole context. Nice. Because that would be much easier for people to find the context, right? Very easy. Now, here's the difference. Okay? On Twitch, they're morons. They're unprofessional. They make mistake after mistake. They fuck everything up. Okay. okay. On YouTube, I'm gonna be honest. They're amazing. I'm not worried. I'm not. He's not, I'm not worried. worried in any way, shape, or form that anything is gonna come of it. I'm not, because on YouTube they actually have some kind of air of professionalism when it comes to this stuff. They do. Even if YouTube d seems to make a mistake. Now this is another one of those things that he should just tell his wife or his friends and discuss this with them, and not on a public live stream that people like me and other people are gonna nitpick or clip. Or do all that stuff. Because this th isn't a good look. Like, what is uh, what is he trying to say with this? I'm not worried. But what if he gets suspended again? What if he gets banned? And it's going to be super ironic. Even though he's probably not going to be. And this isn't really a bannable thing, but... Mistake. You come on. usually talk with YouTube about it and get it resolved. And that's my, my experience. Should have been banned for a bajillion different things. Okay? But there have been times in the past when I've noticed that a video gets flagged for something and i'm like i don't agree with but that. i thought uh, that's a good point that youtube doesn't care is a good thing but when youtube doesn't care about him getting panels on channels on channels that talk about him and don't like him that's terrible and youtube should do something about it but it shouldn't do anything about when he says wrong words yeah i don't think that that that's correct and I would talk with YouTube and get it resolved. Yeah, he also said he was too bu busy for friends. That's ridiculous. Because he has two jobs, remember? Streaming and uploading videos. We're back to normal and everything's fine. Okay? So in this regard, you know, I look at the situation and I'm like, I know these morons mass flagged it. Yeah, Streamlabs is probably not going to let you say uh, stuff that sound racist or it's going to censor them. I don't know how that works. Stupid, right? I know. I'm not dumb. I know that they're going to say I did something that I didn't do. They're probably going to spam every avenue possible with stuff that didn't happen. And all an intelligent person has to do is watch the clip in context. And you say, oh, yeah. okay, I see what yeah. happened. Nothing. Okay, so this 1540. Okay. Play animation again, yes. <laughs> Arnold Filzen, Filzen nigger, right? Wow. <laughs> and every time I watch it, it's more blatant that he's saying that word. Every fucking time. And move on, right? And move on. I'm, not, I'm literally not worried. When I'm here on YouTube, I'm not walking on eggshells. I know that I... This is the, the reassurance segment. He loves doing those. My community is growing. The channel is going well. People are hating on me because I'm successful. It's the, the gravy train, baby. It's the best time. Except 2014 was the best time because he had a hotter girlfriend and he had more money. Actually, before that, he had more money. Then he went bankrupt moving. You know all about that. Don't say and do things that are against anyone's terms of service. I purposely make my streams tame. Take a look at my streams compared to some of the other streams people do, right? You you called out Reddit for being toxic, cesspool of whatever, despite not knowing what Reddit is. Uh, he was showing middle fingers to corporate America and to the economy. <laughs> and uh, he was making up people that exist on Twitter that we didn't find. Because I went on Twitter, I looked at the same thread that he looked at, I read through most of it, and it was overwhelmingly supportive. But he said there was a bunch of people, a bunch of people. He misrepresent everything for his own gain, so he can have an argument to fight against and to win, despite not being able to win, and in the end he just made it about himself. That's how uh, the dark side works. 
I don't talk politics. I don't talk religion. I don't talk racial issues. I don't do any of this shit. I don't do any of the generalized racial comedy that I used to do. I barely do any sexualized humor. I basically toned myself down over the years. I barely do any sexualized humor except talking about asses and dicks. That's not sexualized, I guess. You have to talk about breasts. Maybe. Right? So that we can chill together. We can have a fun time on stream and you guys don't ever have to worry. Yeah, okay. Okay. You don't even have to worry about that stuff. It's fine. You never. I'm not worried in the least about this. Seriously, I'm not. Nothing. How can anything come of something that didn't happen? Right? It doesn't. It matter didn't if happen. Morons say something. It's. But it's not. I'm not saying it. You're saying it. That's exactly the point. I'm not gonna be saying that word. But you said that word. You know. It's not about assholes saying it. It's about you saying it. <laughs> ak ak ak. Right. Donald feels a feels a nigger. Okay. Right. Thank you, Phil anything come of something that didn't happen right? it didn't happen it doesn't though matter how many morons say something okay i'm saying it true. yeah this is exactly the exactly the point we're not saying it nobody wants to say that word because it's hurtful and it's not appropriate at all for any stream or any video but you're saying it weird conspiracy theorists oh yeah conspiracy theorists who want to say that when you know okay oh my god if you get the fucking covid vaccine you grow a fourth arm on your on your back or something because everyone has three arms right you know, the weird the what weird no this is absurd nobody's saying this they're just saying what they heard and what even the youtube uh automatic subtitles the automatic captions even they thought it was an inappropriate say stuff they make so susan didn't like it his chat was probably uh, raving and we don't like it definitely because that's what he said stuff up and then they talk themselves into a circle into a fervor until they feel like it's hey jim bean when it's not, it's this weirdo conspiracy sh theory group thing shit. Yes, group thing just, shit. baffles me because I used to never know this shit existed until people started hating on me on the internet and started creating these okay. giant lies. But they would just say the lies so many times in a circle that they would all believe it, right? So anyway, I bring this up because, you know, for me... Why do you bring this up? Have been contacting me. I should have people behind the scenes, right? I mean, oh, yeah? Are you worried about this? You <laughs> are you worried about know? this? They wanted to, to give him paranoia, and I, I like this. Uh, people contacting him behind the scenes for all sorts of stuff. Are you paranoid, DSP? You can get you can get canceled, man. You can get destroyed. No, I'm not worried about it. Not worried about it. 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 Like, the evidence... But what do you mean? That would be like saying... Okay, DSP. Okay. A person like DSP who's never ever been done anything but has always been punished for things he didn't do is not worried at all that he didn't do something and now this is in, in quotes because we know he did and that he might be punished for it a person that his whole claim to fame is that he's always punished for for things that he's not n never done right oh I always think it's your fault, too, DSP. Is there a video camera footage of you punching someone straight in the face? No. No, there's video camera footage of you saying the words. And there's other video camera footage. There's uh, almost 30 minutes of it. So, yeah, we're going to be watching oh, that. There isn't. So I'm not worried. About, there's no nothing went wrong. There isn't. Wrong. There isn't. Why would I be afraid? Dude, do you forget you're on camera? He did when he beat his meat, but did you forget then? We're on camera all the time. How could you just deny that there is evidence of anything? It's okay, ridiculous. It didn't happen. And he doesn't even have the balls to watch the video on his stream and say, okay, this is why I didn't do it. But instead he's like, oh, I didn't do it. There's no proof of it. I'm not worried about it. I don't remember what I said. It was uh, Schwartz Burnell or something. I don't know why people were offended on that. Yeah, fucking good job. He's, he's so... He makes himself much less believable when he tries to deny stuff like that than if he just let it go or apologized. Right? But then people, well, you should delete that clip. You should delete that part of the playthrough. You should edit the video to, to, to bring the audio out of that. What are you talking about? Why would I do that? Why would I edit anything? <laughs> Why? He, would, he would actually, he would rather make a two-hour pre-stream about how he doesn't like editing um, than actually take 15 minutes to edit out something from his videos this is what he would rather do this is how lazy he is why would i do that in all the years that i've been a content creator okay all the years that i've done this for a living 
There have been zero videos where I've done that. Zero. Except there's two. There's two, the stationary one and the Arnold one. Zero. Because Zero. the best way... And he also said the N-word in different ways throughout the, the years. Okay. ...to defend yourself to misinformation on the internet is to allow the actual truthful information to be out there. But your information is not truthful because you don't remember when it was. You don't remember what you said in both instances, in the one in Returnal and the one in Metroid. You don't remember what it is. I don't remember how I said it. I was maybe doing this, but I don't remember exactly what I said. But people were very upset and they were making videos about me. But I don't even remember what I said. I'm not going to be pulling it up and watching it on stream and tell you why I didn't do it or try and defend myself with anything other than just believe me, I'm telling you the truth. Very nice. You see, the moment that I would delete that video or I would try to edit the audio out or something, that yeah, he can just he can just ban the people. If you ban the people that are saying that you did nothing wrong, uh, that you did something wrong, then you did nothing wrong. If nobody's left in your chat to call you out. What, there's a video being made about it? No, they're shitheads. It's a conspiracy theory. It's a deep fake. Maybe that, you know, there was a feeling of like, you actually did do something wrong. And now you're trying to hide it, right? Oh God, I did something wrong. After the fact, I better hide that by deleting it or editing it. I didn't do anything wrong. Right? So what am I hiding? Nothing. There's the, <laughs> I didn't say the thing that these morons are trying to say. I said, you have to be a jackass to believe it, which is the truth. Anyone, literally anyone who would say that, who would make a video about it, who would watch a video about it, who would share a video about it, is a jackass. You are an actual detriment to human existence. You literally make shit up to try to hurt others, to get a laugh, or to try to, you know, to get some drama for today. You are the problem with human society. If you didn't exist, we'd all be better off. People who pass around crap like that and behave in that manner <laughs> this fucking nice people who are good people people who are out there to make productive lives to help others to be happy and positive negative disgusting drama queens actually make life worse there has not been a single situation where being a drama queen and making up gossip and making up this kind of shit has ever helped someone it's always just hurt someone a uh, big ups Paul for his super chat says uh, just cause when when Phil talks about Hulk Hogan probably I'm gonna make another poll just cause because I can when you're outright lying and saying someone did something they didn't do in order to cause drama and get clickbait views you are a but you did it that's why it's in the video that's why it's in the video people click on the video and then they see it and then they are like I agree with you that's what they say Oh, you said a racist thing. I agree with you. Okay. You have no redeeming qualities. Okay. Everything you just did was bad. Okay. Immoral. Wrong. Immoral. There's no defending you. You immoral. are a piece of shit. And you should actually rethink your life if this is what okay. you do for a living. <laughs> Zero self-awareness. First of all, DSP is a very moral person. He's been, uh, he's been let go of any job that he's ever had. He's been suspended by multiple streaming services. From blip for racism straight up outright racism uh from twitch for hateful slurs he's been had several channels that have lost their adsense for some scummy tactics that he's done that are very moral by the way he's the guy that uh, make it seem like a favor that he was visiting his uh ex-girlfriend in the hospital because she wasn't his girlfriend anymore he doesn't need her just give her a pill this is the moral guy who begs children for, for tips, begs them to become members for no reason. The guy who lied about Project 7. Very fucking nice. The moral Phil. Guy who pretended to be single when, when Kat was coming over and he was acting like he's taking a break just to rest his voice when she was coming over and they were having staycations. Very fucking nice, DSP. The moral guy. The guy that shouldn't rethink his life, by the way. Because he does this for a living, he can barely break a thousand views per video. He has to make special videos. To update you about his uh, videos being demonetized, having music in them that's not going to allow him to make money, and to ask you to give him more money to compensate for that. This is the guy that, that is a moral guy who shouldn't rethink anything. Never should rethink anything. The guy who never takes the blame for anything. 
uh, accept things that have been so far in the past that he can now claim he's a different person, despite being the exact same person with the exact same mentalities. If not worse and more toxic. Yeah, he shouldn't rethink anything. I'm not even sure if he can actually think in order to rethink. Really? Oh, I, all I do is I make slander videos about someone. What the fuck is wrong with you? Really? Do you think It's really funny, that's what's wrong. It's just really funny. I find it really funny. That is what's wrong. Life doing that? Like, oh my god. And this is the thing is that these people fucking do this all the time. And it's not just this situation. Like I said, there's a million times when this happens all the time. <clears throat> so, for me, okay. it's just, it's Monday. For this is the guy who is very moral. Who goes to the extent to defend himself on his streams from people that from things that he is claiming are bullshit conspiracies they don't exist there's no evidence who presents absolutely zero evidence outside of please just trust me bro that is his evidence to defend himself on his own stream not gonna watch the video to see what people are criticizing not gonna uh fucking even remember what he said he doesn't even remember exactly what he said he said Bill Burnell's, uh, what was it? No, it was uh, Schwartz Burnell. Very nice. That's what he said. To distract you. Today is Monday. Today is not a special day where Phil was, was you know, made to look bad on the internet. Yeah, okay. Today's just a normal day. This happens. It is a normal day because it you never change. That's why it's the new norm for you to be toxic and for us to be calling out. All the time. It really does. Um, But it's, it's actually funny to me that I had some people contacting me behind the scenes and Phil, you gotta you better look out. These people are out to get you. Oh, yesterday he didn't give him a, a choice for the hat. I saw he was wearing the, the Christmas hat, which is great. But yeah, he didn't give him a choice. His choices are so fake, man. That's what he irritates me for, because uh, choices of things you want to do on a live stream, especially a stream that you do for your business and for a living, should be your responsibility to, for you to pick what choices you can do that influence your fucking business the best or you give the choice to the viewers and you completely never complain about what they pick if you decide to give them the right to pick because that's how shit works what he does instead is he also makes his own choice of what to do but he pretends that the viewers have a, a choice that is very important that's what you should become a member you should vote for his games but in the end if he doesn't like your choice he's gonna bitch about it and still gonna do what he wants oh yeah good job did you see what they're doing? They're making videos that are saying you did something you didn't do, and you bet you should delete that video. I was like, no, are you out of your mind? I would never delete that video. Are you? <laughs> that video is the clear cut evidence that. I yeah, it, uh, it really drives him crazy that he can't ban people for making videos about him, because he only exclusively has power on his shitty stream and uh, power tripping over his own fans, and he can't take down anybody else. He could probably, if he wants to go on a crusade on some uh, vendetta, he would probably be able to copyright strike a bunch of people and take them, take them down, but then he's gonna make himself look even worse. Come on, nobody fucking copyright strike shit. Just take the, take the fucking criticism. I didn't do anything. Or don't. Anything wrong. Why in the hell would I delete it? By the way, to give you guys some perspective, okay? And what irritates him even more is uh, people being, uh, being able to make money off of this without having to beg and without having to make some uh, weird mind games to make people subscribe or to make people tip or to make people super chat. That's why it pisses him off. When that thing happened... I and uh, he also likes to claim that it's for a living, despite not knowing a single one of his detractors and what they do for a living. Sounds good. On Twitch... On Twitch. Back in, what was it, April, May, whenever I was playing Returnal. I don't actually remember when that happened. I uploaded that video in its entirety to YouTube, no problem. Okay. That playthrough is intact, there's no issue there. People mass reported me on YouTube for that one too. And guess what happened? Guess what happened? Nothing. Well, how do you know they mass reported you if nothing happened? Because, I, I don't know, I haven't been mass reported, so I wouldn't know. But I would assume you wouldn't have any notice until YouTube decides to take down the video that's been mass reported. So he didn't get anything. He didn't, doesn't even know that he got mass reported. Or maybe he read it in a tweet or something somewhere. But okay, let's just control the narrative. Let's, uh, let's take, take the helms. YouTube doesn't fuck around. 
YouTube doesn't have a bunch of unprofessional volunteers who believe drama making major site judgments. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not stupid. <laughs> they're just they're just not. They don't do that kind of stuff. Twitch does. YouTube doesn't. So I'm not worried in the least. Nothing's going to come of this because I didn't do anything wrong. I'll leave the video up. That's your evidence that nothing went wrong. And just let the idiots say what they want. Let them sit there and circle jerk each other. Because that's the thing. That's all they want. All they want is to get jollies off. Oh my God, yeah. this is funny. We can make fun. Yeah, and you're helping right now. You're being the catalyst for this kind of content right now. Actually, this is from uh, yesterday, but you know what I mean. We can say he did something he didn't do, and we'll sit here endlessly saying that he did it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Never did. Yes, you, you did. Say what you want. You're on video. You can make up shit. Well, the only thing that I, and this is true, true, I really, really, really wish YouTube would be more serious. Not about, okay, they don't take that seriously. They're not going to, you know, punish me for doing something I didn't do. That's good. But I really wish that there was a recourse against it. Right now, there's literally videos saying I did something I didn't do. Yes, it's you did it. Factually incorrect. You can no, it is factually correct. And see, it didn't happen. But this is the raw video. You don't need context. Only means anything that is relevant. So what is relevant in this video is this segment. There is nothing before it. There is nothing after that that is relevant uh, besides from him calling out his chat. Game Trigger just did another ten dollars. Okay, this is the video. This is what's relevant. This is the content. You don't want. You don't have to watch the three-hour stream to understand what detractors claim that this is happening in the video. And for another epic moment. Also, we get to see Jingle all the way animation again. Yes. <laughs> Arnold Filzen, Filzen nigger, right? Okay, bang. That's it. That's the context you, you need. How do you? We know why he said it. We know what he said it. We know what it sounds like. Why is that video allowed on YouTube? That slander, defamation, whatever you want to classify it. No, it's not. It's a clip from your stream that you said something that is that. Actually a lie. And it's misinformation meant to hurt me. It's directed at me to hurt me. Why is that video allowed on YouTube? Why is, don't people identify that and say, okay, I see that this hey, is good morning, jump man. bad garbage content. It's a lie. And we need to delete it. Because here's the thing. They do that with stuff about the COVID vaccines. They've what? They've done that with stuff about politics. What? They've done that before. They've identified... Oh, I, I would wish he would start talking about politics. Because I know about as much as maybe he does, because I don't care about any of that, besides my local stuff. But this guy, if he started talking about politics, he would get nuked. Within a week, he would get destroyed. Uh, this, he would regret doing it so much. It would have never happened after a week of him talking about it. This is harmful information. It's false. It needs to be removed. You see? So why don't they do that with other stuff? Why don't they take it to the next level? Because this is the problem with YouTube. The entire site is rife with this crap. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true. There is no way that you can claim that he didn't say it, which he is. Now, what he can do is claim that it wasn't what he meant or it wasn't used in any offensive context, which is correct. But he's taking the, the stance that he didn't even say it. He didn't even say it. How the fuck does that work? Okay. There's entire content creators that would not exist on YouTube if slander and defamation were not allowed. If you had like, to what the stuff you said on YouTube and actually confirm it's factually right before you made big drama videos. But DSP, you were... What? You were talking shit about Reddit. You didn't know anything about Reddit. So your videos should be taken down as well. If you have to fact check everything. He didn't even know what he was talking about. He said it's a shithole for fucking idiots or whatever. Only toxic people go there. He's never, never been there. It's like the party you're not invited to. But you talk shit about because it sucks. From uh, what you've heard from somebody who knows someone who throws the party. That was about it. There would be entire giant people on YouTube out of business overnight. So why don't they? But no. Because the YouTube ecosystem relies on those people. Because instead of going on and watching a whole half an hour stream or a several hour stream, you can go to Keemstar and he's gonna summarize it for you. Or to some T channel that's gonna summarize that for you. And so on and so forth. Come on, it's, they're a part of the system. Just like DSP making his terrible fucking raw gameplay videos is a part of the system. Except, he has his own system that he's a content catalyst for. His own system that is kind of uh, organic and naturally expands and becomes bigger and more people join. So that's a pretty, pretty good fucking system. Why do you allow a toxic place 
where people can say whatever the fuck they want about anyone yeah this this also wouldn't be a thing if he just said uh yeah i messed up my bad that's it it wouldn't be a thing you don't have to address it for 45 minutes straight and they can even perpetrate it they can circle jerk it around until they can jerk it around it's real when it's not what kind of a place is that spread his cheeks it's a professional place to run a business when you allow that on your business right that's ridiculous do you allow people in any other business in the world are people allowed to walk in and just start spouting insane conspiracy theories in the middle of your business and it's okay no that's not uh, oh no no Stop. these analogies are terrible man how can you compare something that it makes no fucking sense no fucking sense i i just don't understand it you don't understand it because it makes no sense you made it make no sense with this fucking analogy with the business place of business because this is anything but a place of business because uh, when I go to the butcher shop or to fucking candy store, or whatever, they don't call me a shithead and an asshole and calling me an idiot and banning me immediately for asking them if, uh, if their meat is fresh or their candy is sweet, I guess. Anywhere else, you'd be arrested, thrown out into the street. What the fuck's your problem? You're out of your mind. Hey, good morning, Homer. Promote the content, right? Promote the video. <laughs> Promote the video. It's not how it works. It's not... Uh... Man, come on. It's so complicated. And of course he doesn't understand it because he never tried to understand it. Because understanding YouTube goes against his narrative. That he's this guy that's being shadow banned and suppressed by YouTube. And they don't show his content because the other people are shills. But if he, un if he understands how the game works and how you are supposed to run your YouTube channel as a business. Then... It would just make him seem like he's a loser and his business sucks. And he can't have that. It goes against the delusion. It's just stupidity. And again, that's how YouTube's algorithm works. YouTube's algorithm is you make a video. It's drama. Because it's drama, all the immature... But he doesn't watch YouTube. You don't know how it works. You're a businessman whose business is YouTube. But you don't watch YouTube. But yet you claim to know a lot about how YouTube works and the algorithm and everything. Now, one of these things can be correct, but not both. Toxic, immoral people latch onto it. Okay. They perpetrate it as truth. They rotate it. They spew it. They, they regurgitate it. And now it becomes trending on YouTube. It becomes the hot video that day for that person. You know, anyone searching for DSP Gaming or Dark Side Phil, can they find my fun playthroughs that I've been doing for the fun? last few weeks? No, they find that. The false thing, completely taken out of context, that's incorrect and a lie. Because why? Because why? Because why? Because why? Because your streams are, uh, first of all, uploaded in clips, in like big clips that are kind of non-descriptive and vague and abstract. Uh, your thumbnails are terrible. Uh, the naming of the videos is bad. The way he uploads them to the channel is bad. He uploads too many videos. And the tractor just know how shit works better. Come on. That's that's why it is. It's not because YouTube is a toxic shithole. And also his shit is raw and, and lame as fuck. So I would rather watch this clip that has all the context to it than watch his shit that I need to sit through hours and hours of shit to get to the actual thing. That's what they see about me. They can't find my positive content. And yet this is this is massive drama segment. 40 minutes. 40 minutes of, of shit that he says before multiple times. He said all of this before. Because YouTube has a very flawed very flawed system in regards to this okay wrong people are saying it's called free wrong speech. wrong it's not yeah it's it is wrong. here's the thing of free speech and um how was it called transformative content transformative because we all transform the content at some point or another about free speech. Works. this is what people don't understand and now he's going to talk about free speech. Well, he, he allows none of that in his own chat. Because free speech implies that you let people criticize you openly and you're willing to listen to some extent. To the, the reasonable. But no, let's just ban everybody. And I'm, then I'm going to talk about free speech. Mr. Locked Twitter replies. He's going to talk about free speech. Okay. Free speech means you have the, the freedom to say whatever you want. Okay, like DSP saying the N-word true you have the freedom to say whatever you want said that is hate speech 
Free speech does not mean you have the freedom to say whatever you want without repercussions. Also, free speech is the guy who has his comments uh, to be approved. Very nice. Free speech. Or, or consequences. That's not what freedom of speech is. You have the freedom to say it, but then if you lied and said something bad about someone or some business or whatever, you outright lied to harm them, guess what? That's called defamation or slander or whatever, and you're going to be prosecuted for it. What? Okay. Uh, that's why we're here, because it's not defamation or slander. Kind of how it works. Big ups, DSP. That's what it means. For proving yourself wrong. That's why we're here. You have the right to say whatever you want, but if you said something false... You know who should be banned? The guy that pretends to be Winx on TikTok and pretends to be a pedophile. That guy should be banned. Because that is straight up defamation. To get uh, an agenda, you are going to be held responsible for it. There's a... Big ups, Paul, for Super Chat test. You passed the test. And... Earlier, you've uh, already made a test in chat. You passed that. And you said as in chat, which also you appeared. Oh, so yeah, it works. Difference. There really is a difference. Big ups for super chat. People don't get that difference. Freedom of speech means I can literally sit here and say every incorrect thing ever about anyone, and I'm completely protected. Wrong. That Rich of Review Tech USA, he's a whore. He's said that before. Uh, Keemstar said a bunch of things about him. Come on, DSP. Come on. Do you have zero self-awareness? Zero self-awareness. Doesn't know when to get off. That's not freedom of speech. Go research the doctrine and figure out what it is. Research the doctrine. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I don't no, think anyone is deleting your posts. Okay. So I can't see anything example, being deleted. Our government. I would see it at least. doing something you disagree with. You don't like the way our government is running. Okay? You can say... I don't like the way our government is running and the government can't come to your house and beat you up and arrest you and throw you in a gulag because you have freedom of speech to criticize the government. Throw you in <laughs> fucking gulag. Nice DSP. This guy is completely off. He's off the rails. He derailed himself. Finally. He's now flying towards uh, the, the abyss. Absolutely has the right right now to make a video and say, I really don't like dark side Phil. Yes. Okay. The content is boring or crap. Yes, it is. Low production value. Totally. I don't like the guy. I feel yes. Like maybe he's a, you know, he's a he's an asshole. He's a scumbag. I don't like his. Okay. Name. He's lame. Is he a scammer? Is he an e-beggar? But this is what he allows you to make in a video. This is what he allows you. Now pay attention. This is what he allows you to make a video about. He's disingenuous. Blah, 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 blah. He, you have the right to say all of that. Okay. It was the One gravy train, baby. I was making insane amounts of money. Like dirty, rotten. This is way too much fucking money for just playing video games kind of money. We got a double jeopardy when one day Piggler scored another stationary and the high Sony Femboy Station executive wanted some downtime with passion fruit. Dude, this is, uh, she didn't handle that correctly. Thanks for Hustler for Tim Bomb. Uh, we got a double double jeopardy. One one the Pigler scored another stationary and the other Sony fanboy station executive wanted some downtime with a passion fruit. No. No, that that Sony executive, he's cursed. He should be in jail. Definitely. You to outright criticize me and say you don't like me or whatever. Uh, big ups. Speech. You do not have the right okay. to lie and say Phil did this. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And I have more proof than you have. Everybody has more proof than you have. This is the ironic thing. How are you going to prove it didn't happen? You're just going to say it. And I have more proof. I have the video. Kate Army Watch has the video. And Lead has the video. Everybody have the video. How are you going to prove it didn't happen when we can prove it happened? If, if the title of the video is DSP has a meltdown over Arnold Gate, and that's what the video is, then it's not slanderous. It's just you having a meltdown about, about Arnold Gate. A big up Sarah for becoming a member. And here's evidence of it. And then present something that's actually out of context and not evidence of it's it. It's your clip. It's your clip. You made it. It went through your camera and your recording software onto the internet. It's your, completely your. Because you presented it out of context, you now act out of context. It's not. Right? What is what? That's illegal. It's actually against the fucking law to do that. You cannot do that. That's not freedom of speech.
but they people don't understand the difference you want to know why because they're not smart oh they're not smart in dsp the guy who's being accused of saying the the n-word twice he is smart he is smart people out there who have these blanket feelings that everything's protected everything they do in life is protected i can do whatever the fuck i want i have unlimited freedom of everything because it's protected under freedom of speech wrong you're a moron you have to actually do research to find out what's real and what's not because if you keep talking yourselves into these weird this guy never does research about anything his research consists of reading a couple of tweets on twitter and maybe a headline of an article as situations oh i'm protected from everything man you're gonna find yourself fucked in life you will you're gonna find yourself you're yeah yeah i know i know where the clip is and it's in this video as well i already watched it at least five times and we saw the other the stationary clip as well no one's ever gonna want you for a job if you're out there saying the dumbest conspiracy theory shit all over the internet that's not true blatant lies and you're an idiot who the fuck's gonna want to hire you for a job right and big ups for the early birds that are getting the chill now because this is an early stream for me it's not but for some of you it is so big ups have a nice day no one's gonna want to associate with you outside of your crazy ass circles of nut jobs who say that dsp nobody wants to associate with you even inside of your circle of nut jobs that's why they talk about other stuff in the chat besides you that's because dude come on nobody on the internet, nobody the fuck, what okay kind of person wants to do anything with you i don't right? know that's what I mean. So it's either everybody else is not normal and DSP is, or DSP is not normal and everybody else is. It's one or the uh, one of those. One man against one bajillion shitheads. Incredible amount. This is all. It's ridiculous stuff. That, that, these people. Oh, I'm protected. Me. I can just say whatever I want. Wrong. That's not how it works. Wrong. That's never how it works. The whole intention of freedom of speech in the constitution right was never meant for that talking about the constitution lie and be dude youtube is a private company vile and say disgusting they have their fucking terms of service maybe you can have a terms of service in a company that lets you say those stuff maybe you can even have terms of service in a company that encourages it it's not a good idea but you probably could Things about people that aren't true, and you just say whatever you want. You're protected. That was never the intention. I need the, the that money. I really might not even be true, anyways. To pay my bills. Uh, oh, she gave up on this maybe because it has a swear word. I remember when DSP said that I Justine was uh, game bang by an EA staff. That Bridge Farms remembers. I remember as well. Yeah, that was uh, that was that was actually, actually slander, actual slander, actual one. Without any basis in reality of anything. Uh, thanks for the, the flashback. Uh, GW2N. Wrote these laws and things. But people are so dumb that they talk themselves into believing that. Yeah, people are dumb. Just like they talk themselves into any other stupid, dumb ass situation. Where, oh, this, this is true and this is true. This conspiracy is true. This is true. Did you hear this about this and this? No, it's all bullshit. You're a fucking moron. You would believe that Bigfoot was outside knocking on your door right now if I told you. But you're so, you know what I mean? What? I mean. what? Don't no. Get it. They just don't get it. No. Okay? <clears throat> so, it's that simple. Um, And it sucks that YouTube doesn't care. Really. That's the that's one of the major things I've always hated about YouTube. They just don't care. Oh, it's right Guy now, with Two Names. Yeah, I'm sorry if that's the, the abbreviation. So Thanks for, for letting me know. About this situation. And I said, there's a video out there that's completely... Either defamation or slander. How? It really is fake. Which one? Even Which one? How fake can it be? Which one? If you look at the evidence they're presenting, which one? They said or did. Can you for once, can you for once give an actual example of what you mean? Just point out a video. Say this video is fake. Pull it up on the screen. Play it. Say why it's fake. Say what is taken out of context. Come on. This is the reasonable thing for somebody who wants to defend himself to do. Completely fucking reasonable. Just address it head on, specifically when, what you mean to say, and not with abstract terms like everybody does this, nobody does that, everybody uploads this kind of videos, this is the kind of videos they upload. Which video do you mean? So we can talk about it and we can go through and, and see why you would be wrong. Because in the end, you're going to be wrong. It's something, it's wrong, it's not true. All right? YouTube would look at it and say, okay, but you have to sue them. They would literally say, they would say, okay, fine, we believe you, but we don't want to get involved. 
we don't want to be legally entitled when did they say this what is this weird discussion fine we believe you but we don't want to be involved who said this when was it said what is this this is some hypothetical conversation that goes his way of course because all of them do unless if he wants to uh, mock somebody we don't want to be embroiled in a battle between you and this party so sue them and the moment sue who? Them, when you show us evidence of the are you gonna sue snort brunel lawsuit that you're suing them that this was defamation or slander we'll take the video down and then you're good yeah he's gonna hit him with a lol suit lol suit that's literally what they say okay um and he with the uh, with these rants is subliminally calling out to his pay pigs to go in uh dmca videos to report videos i uh, remember when when turvin did that video about dsp uh being taken off uh twitch about losing his partnership and dsp took a screenshot of that video he went on twitter and he was actually calling people to go and and reported that it shouldn't be on the platform now i wish i could find that tweet but that's gonna take a million years so just trust me dude listen <laughs> listen who do you think you're talking to right like i'm not some ginormous uh content creator rolling in dough I don't have a team of legal experts behind me. Yeah, but that video is probably my favorite Tevin video. The the DSP got on partner. It's probably my favorite video. So fucking good. Flagging and stuff all over YouTube and, and filing lawsuits on my behalf. This is ridiculous. Okay. So it's that simple. It, you know, I, I since I'm not rich, I don't have recourse against these people. That's okay, I'm not rich. He's not Review Tech USA, so he can't sue anybody. That's what actually it boils down. You know to. what I mean? Because I'm not rich. Yeah. I can't stop these people from saying and doing. What no, it's because you're toxic. Because you're gonna, you can shut down somebody. You can DMCA them. You can uh, throw them uh, fucking people to mass report them. They, you can report them with bots or whatever the fuck he wants to do. He can do all that shit, and he can take down somebody. But three more people are gonna come back in his place, it's like fucking Hydra. Three more people are going to come back. They're going to be... Everyone is going to be collectively pissed. So there's going to be a thousand commentary videos and streams and stuff of DSP sending people to DMCA people or DMCAing himself or reporting them or taking them down. You can do that. But the things will never get any better than this. Actually, any day that a detractor... That a new detractor gets born, it gets worse. Whatever they want about me. This will always continue forever. This and yeah, he coordinated to take down uh, GTG and Snort Brunel, and it didn't work. And you have that in DMs on Twitter. There, is, uh, there are screenshots of that, where somebody is sending him links to Snort Brunel, and he's saying, yeah, that one is particularly malicious. This will always be an endless loop that people will be bored with their own lives. Yeah, I also like the, the post-marriage uh, Tavin video. Mine. That one was good. By bringing me down... To their toxic level and saying shit about me that didn't happen or i didn't do and and he didn't do false evidence you know out of context providing false evidence false evidence well dsp isn't false evidence a little bit better than no evidence whatsoever or not false evidence because that's like that's weird shit but it's not even false how is it false you never addressed how it's false you just said i didn't do it how is it possible for a 40 year old man can't uh, phrase himself and can't find a way to express what he means and how he didn't do something and to defend himself really basically in a very basic capacity just watch the video tell us why you didn't do it and how it didn't happen and then that's it then we're going to be debunked and we can shut up but since you're going to be making straw mans and imagining some people that agree with you some people that don't agree with you telling us what what kind of a hate video is good to make and what is not good to make and in the end being like, well, I'm not rich, so I can't do anything about it. Well, fucking big ups. Clip, edited clip, making it sound or look like I did something I didn't do, you know, for their own purposes. Now, they all had views yesterday, right? They all made these videos. They got some views that they didn't earn. They, they didn't earn. Bad. What is earning views? What is earning views? Did you earn any views? Have you ever earned any views? Did you earn views on KO Gaming when you were using the scummiest tactics known to man? To clickbait people into your shitty, terrible videos. Terrible videos. Is that earned? What is earned? Is the, the tips goal earned? The money that you actually have to say, please swing by in support. Please in capital letters. 
almost every day on Twitter. Is this earning the money, begging for it? Begging for the members? And telling them every day how many benefits are going to get, that the fictional nonsense benefits? Is this earning anything? They lie, right? They lied. And they lied. Know, I got she believed he lied. People all worried and shit. Don't be worried. I'm, I'm not worried in the least. It's something that didn't happen. It, it didn't happen. happen. The evidence is... Definitely. The evidence yeah, he's begging also through video titles. Titles, descriptions, in any way that is possible for him to beg, he's going to beg. If he knew how to make the... The pop-ups that come in the end of the video where it uh, advertises your channel and uh, a lot of other stuff. I don't know if he even puts those. If he knew how to make those be about begging, he definitely would. Evidence was back there for Returnal. The evidence is there here for Metro. He has to beg for people to like his videos. He has to beg for people writing comments. Is this earning it? Asking pe people to do it. And at the same time, providing the same stale commentary, the same stale gameplay... The same low-res fucking camera, the same terrible fucking uh, graphics design of the streams he's been doing for forever. Jet, this stuff just doesn't happen. It's a lie. It's a blatant bullshit, and I'm not worried about it in the least. But it's it's stupid that I even have to talk about it. But this is the big talk of the internet over the past day that Phil said this or did this and all this negative toxic shit about me. You know, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. You know? Everyone else is dumb. I am smart. I beg for a living. And I really want my channel to be back where it once was. But I can't break a thousand views as a full-time YouTuber. I can't. It's really hard. But this is just... A, I, I wish. I really do wish that YouTube would actually step up and take some ownership for the crap on their site. Because they don't. They say, unless we're getting sued, we don't care. And I think that's a terrible way to go about it. I understand that they've got millions upon millions of... Well, people. guess what? Because if they take ownership for the fact that people are hating on Phil, they need to take ownership about everything that is remotely negative on their whole ass platform. So it's going to become fascism up in here. You can't upload anything. You can't say any word. You can't say anything if they decide to go this way. And really nobody wants them to go this way. I will use nobody this time. You upload every day and you can't police every single video, right? But at the very same time, when you have people who actively are trying to hurt and destroy people, and you can see that, do you every one of those videos that lied about me yesterday, all the reason they put that was because they want to hurt me. They're all lies. They're all blatant lies. There's no truth to anything that they say. They're all 100% lies, man. But it's like, why can't I stop it? Oh, because you're not rich. You can't sue every person who made the video to take it down. What the fuck? Right? <laughs> it's out of control. And this is this is how... I've been steamrolled into an existence of always being a villain, always being told I'm a bad person, I'm a bad content creator. Oh, you don't want to deal with Dark Side Phil? Did you hear the, the million bad things about him? That none of which are true. These are the same situation that's happened over the years, over and over and over. And I have no defense against it. You know? And you get to a point where it's like, He's just going around in circles at this point. How long does he even want to do this for? This is a 45 minute fucking video. What's the word punch drunk? Punch drunk. He's punch drunk every fucking time, man. Often that you're just desensitized to it. Yeah, you know, desensitized. Time, you grow a thick I skin like DSP. I'd be really upset right. about this. Really. I'd be like, oh my god, I'm up in arms and fuck these people. And, look. and what? But even when you were really upset, you didn't do shit about it. You would whine about it on your fucking pre-stream. That's what you would do. I, I literally don't even know who they are anymore. Because every day there's a new person who does it. I don't even know who the fuck these people are anymore. I pay no attention to it. I Right now, I couldn't tell you the names of anyone who reached... Nice fucking burp. I pay no attention oh, I couldn't tell you names. names. Okay. I just Since since Tevin is gone, he can't tell you any names. Because Tevin was hurting him. Nobody else is hurting him. I can't. I, I, I can't live like Except that. they're all hurting I'm him. Person. I need to move forward positively. I'm the kind of person I need to move forward positively. Fucking nice quote. I'm the type of person I like to move positively. I need to make positive content for my audience, and that's how I like to live. I can't, if I lived in the negativity all the time. Hey, big ups, Caleb. How's it going? About me, I would never have time to make positive content, and I'd probably be in it. Positive content. What is is this positive content? Forty-five minutes of of hating other people who don't like you, and refusing to acknowledge their criticism, saying that nothing happened. Pretty sure nothing happened. Somewhere bouncing off the wall. Talking about Burger King so much. That's uh, that's a guy moving forward, definitely. I can't yeah. live like that, you know. Can't live like that. Focus on 
good stuff with you guys. I got to focus on, let's have a fun gameplay stream today. Let's play Vice City and have a great time together and do all this fun stuff together today, right? That's always been my mentality um, with this stuff. And okay. That's how I'm going to move forward positively. Okay? Oh, by and ranting then, about them? You, you No, no. This is not moving forward positively. Not at all. The morons gave me something to talk about on the pre-stream podcast. But this is not good. This you're giving them more fuel, as we see from this video, because it's not his video. So yeah, that's really how I see definitely gave me a topic to talk about today. Thanks, guys. You feel well. Thanks, DSP. You gave us a talk topic to talk about. This is what a content catalyst means. He bitches about us. We take it and we bitch about them, about him specifically. My podcast. I, don't, I didn't really big ups. Talk about was a slow day. Like no news. Or the nothing. slow day. So it actually then you don't have to talk about it for an hour and a half. You actually don't. But now the podcast has to be an hour and a half because it's a podcast, so it needs to be exactly this long, or at least an hour and twenty minutes, or fifteen minutes, or whatever. Gave me the opportunity to, to gab a little bit about stuff, which is nice. Some filler. Content, it's nice, right? yeah. There you go. Some filler content. Forty-five minutes of filler. I wonder if if DSP was watching content creators and he saw somebody ramble for an hour and a half before they start with their actual content. I, I wonder what he would say about them. If they value your time, if they care about uh, their pacing of their streams, if they're lazy, I would really wonder. So here's the funny thing. Rabbit Couch has been spamming this message over and over in the chat. He's probably a defender of these people because he's stupid. He says... Oh, he's stupid. Or he didn't read the guy's message on stream. So we can say if, if he's stupid or not. Just call him stupid. Just call him stupid. It's much easier. Fucking nice. I really believe the statement is true. You have the right to say it according to U.S. legal precedent. That's how libel and slander is decided. They aren't crimes, they're torts. Yes, except that what they're saying factually isn't true. But it is. All you need to do is watch the videos that I put out yesterday. Yes, we did. We did. Gameplay okay. Of Metroid Dread. Okay. You see the animation playing. You see me saying Schwarzenegger over and over and over. And then making variations of his name. No. My name interjected in it. No. You see what it is. There's nothing there of anything bad in any way, shape, or form. So but, yeah, but you said the word. That's that's all that it's about. But of course, as always, he's taking a criticism that he thinks people are having, that he it was racist. Or he had like a racist rant about something. No, it's just about him saying the word. He said the word. It was not in context. It wasn't offensive. It wasn't addressing anyone. He just said it. And then... Even he realized it, but how now he doesn't want to fucking address it. But okay. So literally, nice. any person who said that on the internet did libel or slander, whatever it is, defamation, to me, they committed a crime. Because what they're saying is there is not there. It's okay, lie. send the feds. Lie, right? Send the feds. It's like saying, uh, you know, Bill Murray punched someone in the street today. Okay? No. 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 No ridiculous ridiculous analogy ridiculous Ac actually a lunatic analogy if you think this is what happened to you okay bill murray punched someone on the street oh, it, was there a video of it I'm not even gonna try and make sense of how this compares to him this nonsense the evidence of it well, here's a video of Bill Murray, and he's reaching out, and he kind of brushes the side of someone's face nicely. Okay? Okay. So where did he punch someone? But not that's not not what your thing is about. No? Not really. Not really. We have the... Oh, wait, let's take that out of context. And they just show his hand going and kind of touching the guy's face, and then they cut away. See, he struck that man. What are you talking about? It didn't... But no. The claim is that you said the word. In the video, the content of the video is you saying the word. And that's it. That's it. There's a video about it. It's nothing like this hypothetical Bill Murray punching someone while actually just brushing against them scenario. It's nothing like that. It's actually not. But yeah, let's uh, let's compare myself to something that uh, would make me look good in comparison. Okay, sounds good. But that's what they do. They take it completely out of context and say it's something that's not. It's a This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's a blatant lie. Yeah. Now looking at chat to see if people are buying it. Say you saw it because it didn't happen. It didn't yeah. happen. It's on the video. <laughs> it's that simple. And here's the thing. If they believe it, then it's not illegal. Wrong. 
wrong. What? Because you believe something is real that's not, doesn't protect you under free speech. All right? What? If you say right now, oh my God, think about this guy this. is a madman. If you say right now that a certain person went into someone's house and murdered someone's whole family, and this is factually true, even if you believe it, that doesn't protect you to just say it if it's factually false. Wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> it, 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 oh, if it couldn't get any worse, he gave us that shitty fucking Bill Murray analogy that made him even less credible. Because it's nothing like what he said. And nothing like what he's claimed against him. So it makes me, it makes it seem like we are claiming something completely different. That he went on a racist tirade or something. That he was wearing a, a KKK outfit or some shit like that. Which didn't happen, obviously. How can you be this dumb? That's what we're not claiming. Dumb. Really? How can you be this dumb? The problem is, I hate to say it, every day there's more dumb people out there, man. Every day there's stupider people. How do you think our country in the United States has gotten to the point where it is? Where people Oh my god. Nonsense about <laughs> what the here. fuck? It's not just about, oh, I believe that this is right oh. or politically or whatever. Now it's like facts, science. Oh. Like what? Who who are you listening to for facts? Who? Do you, do you think they are truthful as well? How do you fact check stuff? Because this is what happens when he gets into one of those discussions. He's completely out of his depth. He has no idea what to talk about. And it's just a freestyle. And let's see how much nonsense he can say. Oh, that's not true. Okay, what are you talking about? Are you going to try and, and give us a, a good example so we can see that your example sucks and you see we you know nothing about what you're talking about? Here's the evidence. Like, literally, here's the evidence. Like with what? Of what I'm saying. Like with what? Is true or false. Like with B Bill Murray? Oh, that. Disregard that. I still believe what I believe. Who says this? Oh. Where was this? What are you addressing? Oh, boy. What are you talking about? This is a horror show. This is one of the worst uh, segments that I've seen recently. Because it's blatantly nonsense. It's actually 45 minutes of nonsense. Uh, anyway, that's enough of that. I got it off my chest. You guys know it's bull. It's bull. Yeah, he gets all his news from Twitter. Why would I trust him talking about what, how other people's opinions on politics and on everything are terrible? I don't even trust his opinions. Nothing's gonna happen. It's all baloney. And that's why I don't pay attention to this shit. I don't. You know, I, I only knew that it was happening because people are contacting me about it. They're like, you know, oh, yeah. About this on YouTube. Yeah, I only. Wow. Wow. Yeah, people were contacting me. You're a fucking scumbag, DSP. Down, of course, now there's all the gossip. What a fucking asshole. All the gossip about it. No, there's videos about it. What do you think? People are, are going on Kiwi Farms discussing whether or not you said it or not? No, it's clear that you did. Clear. Because it's in the video. I don't care. The fuck? That's not the argument. That's not what... He spent 40 minutes addressing fake arguments and stuff that don't exist and straw men just so he can make a point that ended up being wrong. Because he started talking about freedom of speech and what you're allowed to say, what you're not allowed to say, and what he wants you to say. Right. Fuck do I care. The same shit happens every day, man. Right? <laughs> ek, ek, ek. Exactly. Battle Duck says, it's changed. It used to be stop, check, and think for yourself. Now it's become just check out what this guy's true. When was it like that? When was when was it like that? Before Twitter? It, didn't say about it used to be. Someone. Exactly right. Okay. If you don't go the extra step to verify what someone says... How do you do that? What have you verified ever? What? I did the extra step to verify that he was talking bullshit about people on Twitter shitting on game developers that got laid off. I, I went the extra step to prove him he was bullshit. So let's see what he has verified. He doesn't do any research about anything. If a game comes out and the, the reviewers don't like it, then they're shills. And if the game is not good and he doesn't like it, then it's trash. He doesn't fucking do any research about anything. That's why he didn't know that he was supposed to change his oil on the BMW. Because they didn't call him to tell him expl explicitly what he should do. He didn't do any research about anything. Anything. Then you fail. If you just blanket believe what someone says or does, that's stupid. When I say something about a video game, I back it up with gameplay. I don't just sit here and say, this game sucks. 
Oh, that's something about, uh, that's a nice comment from Kurt. Bill verifies PayPal account. This is something that I, I wanted to mention that uh, he uses the weird thing about knowing your names and a, a email address for a very weird way. And that's why I think they, people don't trust him. When, for example, he gets a tip from a weird name that kind of resembles somebody in his chat. He would say, oh, it's not the real guy. It's not the real super blind man. Uh, implying that he knows the, the information of, of the real guy. And that's why I don't think people trust him, because you're not supposed to be talking about if you know or don't know other people's information, or if you're going to do anything with it, because you're not supposed to be. Even though through PayPal, you do get to see first name, last name, and email for the people that send you the contribution. Okay, let's move on. No, I say this game sucks. Here's why. We were playing the game, and this happened, and this happened, and this happened. If literally someone just says, this person did this, here's an out-of-context clip that kind of sounds like what I'm saying, but really isn't. Oh, well, they did it. You see? No. What? No. Stupid. no. It's on you as a responsible human to actually verify what they're saying and not regurgitate insulting things or defamatory things about someone until you've verified it's true. If you re-spread that shit out to the internet, you're part of the problem. You're actually concretely part of the reason why the internet is so fucked up and toxic and immoral and disgusting today. Because you just regurgitate stuff that's not true because you're stupid. Phil? Why did you rant about Reddit, my man? My boy? My child? Why did you rant about Reddit? You know nothing about it and you're regurgitating some stuff you heard on Twitter. Of all places. On Twitter. Sounds good. Um, wow, this guy's great. It, there's, there's no fucking humans like this, man. I refuse to believe he exists. And he better be some elaborate fucking scam. And it's some elaborate persona. Because this guy just can't be real. He can't be real. The super chat, he says, even if Phil had said what he had said, he was insulting himself anyway. But I'm, again, it, what, what, even, even if that was as dumb as a re reasoning that is, even that doesn't make any sense. How does it not make any sense? How did make? How would that make any sense? It wouldn't. Well, you said it. You tell me how it makes any sense or doesn't. What? You said it. <laughs> Again, you have wow. to suspend your disbelief. You have to become such a mouth drooling idiot. Yeah. Okay. Things people say. Sure. You have to forego all facts around the situation. What are the facts? What are the facts around the situation? What are they? Forty oh six is timestamp for this. Awesome. What are the facts? How do you animation again? Yes. <laughs> Let's see the facts. Arnold Filzen, Filzenegger, right? Directly says it with an a N, I, and all the other letters after it. Directly says it. Tell me how I'm supposed to trust you, man. Tell me. Tell me. And if I trust you once and then I go and I watch the fucking video and you're full of shit, how am I supposed to trust you again for something so basic as if he said a hateful slur or not? You can't even trust him on that. He denies completely saving, uh, saying it. This guy is fucking silly. You have to become such a mouth-drooling idiot. Silly. And that's why I had to play this, uh, this whole clip like 10 times already. Because he denied it a million times. The things people say. You have to forego all facts around the situation. The facts around the situation. Believing the stuff that people say about yeah. it. Yeah. Right? An anonymous dollar fifty tipper... Oh, it's Snow Carl. You, a lot of us heard a bad word, so you're you're stupid then. No, oh, really, okay. and I mean that too. I, I'm sorry. If you actually think you heard me say that word. Oh my God. You are 100% undeniably, irrefutably dumb because it dumb. didn't happen. If your mind makes you hear things that aren't happening, you're stupid. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you actually hear something that's not what's being happening, but your mind is telling you it's one thing because it wants to correlate with something bad for your own. Yeah, that's that, that's true. The anonymous tipper could have been anyone. And he talks to him like a fucking asshole, calls him an idiot straight up. This guy is so fucking disrespectful. Malicious purposes, right? You're a moron. You're a moron. Oh, no, really? Okay. You're stupid. I don't care if you, because he goes on to try. Oh. You were, you were, you're trying to say Schwarzenegger and it's not malicious. So no, it didn't. What you're saying happened actually didn't happen. <laughs> and this is the funniest shit that he can take something as small as this, saying a word in a different way, a very, very disastrously different way. He can take it and make a massive saga out of it because he's going to keep talking about it and going to be harping on it for a long fucking time. 
Guy that likes to move on positively. Talks about it for 40 minutes. I watched the clip back. Well, oh, I watched the clip back. Watch it on stream. Tell me. Tell me why you didn't say it and how you didn't say it. Yesterday when I was uploading the videos. Okay. I knew that someone would make a big to-do about it. Okay. Um, and I listened back and that's not what happened at all. It's literally me saying a hybrid of Schwarzenegger and my name. I do it twice. I actually say Phil in that, and then I say Burnell in that. Uh, say it again. If there's no problem with it, say it again. There's a no problem, right? He says something completely not problematic. Say it. What is it? Phil that and Burnell that, right? Why don't you want to say it? Why don't you want to say it? Fucking nice. I say it and neither time. Phil and that and Burnell and that. That's exactly what he said. Why do people think it's so problematic when I don't even want to repeat what I said that is not problematic at all and I didn't even say it? Why is it so problematic? Say it again. Am I saying say it. What the people are trying to say I said. You have to actually be lying to say that that's what was said. Yeah, we have, have to lie. For the, for the first time, we have a porn bot. Please, mod somebody ban the porn bot. <laughs> this fucking nice. But I need to open something else. You're gonna see a lean in manual flex on the porn bot. Oh, it was timed. Okay. Thanks for, for timing it. I don't even know how to block people in this. Nice, it was timed. But uh, yeah, we almost busted, man. Come on, porn boss. Don't jump in like here. Making my uh, my heart rate go up. So fuck off. No, really. And I mean it. If you're that dumb, fuck off. The big up just scam. For, for doing your duty that we never had to do before, but I guess Pornbot is the first to eat it. We don't want those kind of people. Yeah, the lean in manual. Literally will sit on my stream and say, I'm just gonna wait for Phil to kind of say. Yeah, this was probably uh, Officer Sanders' self promotion. I don't want you here. You're not welcome. You never will. You're not welcome. You are a moron. I thought this was an accepting place for everybody, which implies that morons are also accepted since that's what most of his chat is comprised of. Has actually brainwashed yourself into believing negative toxic shit and no one needs you around really and i mean this too like society as a whole is better when people like that don't exist if people wow. like that would change their mentality to stop being toxic the world would be a better fucking place but because these people exist and they focus on the toxicity and the nastiness toxicity and just try to turn every possible thing happening around them into a negative that's why we have terrible things happening on the internet why we have the things that have the bullying the crap because these people are fucked up in the head and it needs to stop <laughs> enough with people you know who is perfectly okay in the head the guy ranting about it for 45 minutes he's perfectly okay he's a well-adjusted individual and a businessman with a business degree and a, a business bankruptcy no that was personal up with it it's just the expenses are business it's time to speak up against it mr burnell this is a personal bankruptcy please uh, please clarify, how do you determine if something is a business expense? Stop it. Stop allowing people around you to be toxic like that and not speaking out against it. If there's Stop it. Or what? Or what, Phil? Or what? Literally all they do is- Send the feds. Turn everything on the internet into a negative- Send the- It's gonna be five stars, like in GTA. It's gonna be the tanks, the helicopters. They're gonna- Yeah. can escape. You need to go to the pan spray. If that person is toxic and it needs to stop, call them out. Be brave. I know it's going to open a can of worms. Yeah, actually, I, I don't know how to block people. DSP should show me. But be brave against these people. I actually don't know. Stop it just lets me shit. delete their shit. Stop saying everything is something it's not. It's bad. You're fabricating shit. Fucking grow up. Stop. Don't allow these people to ruin life for everyone on the internet because they're so toxic. Really. Oh, I think it's called oh. hide, hide user on this channel. I'm not going to do that to anybody right now because gonna get you banned maybe oh yeah oh, I heard you it, it's it. not even called ban i didn't say it <laughs> hide I user to clip myself you are a liar i didn't say it i listened to clip clip myself let's go to the fuck you fuck you nice really if you really I said it you need to see a doctor it didn't happen so you're dumb you're crazy go see a doctor and leave the rest of us alone to have go a see a doctor positive life in society. <laughs> dr phil that's what i'm gonna see Go fuck off, Phil. Now, I don't even know what to watch anymore. Oh, the DSP racism compilation, because of course, that's the best fucking thing. Uh, DSP tries it ultimate racism and insulting other countries. Fucking nice.
Well, that being said, obviously real racism shouldn't be, you know, taken lightly. But obviously. being that this is such a serious subject, it's funny to kind of joke around sometimes and say things that might, in a serious setting, be racially insensitive, but they're not really meant, and therefore, they can be pretty comedic. Wow, nice. Thanks Google for the pig explanation. Particularly <laughs> hate about me, whether I said that I hated Minecraft years ago or I made a supposedly racist comment, even though supposedly I've racist, racist comment. My life. Except when he, if if we're gonna go and march the dead space footage, I'm gonna skip through that. We we all know that. I made a supposedly racist comment, even though I've never done anything racist in my. Yeah, this compilation is almost thirty minutes long of a guy who's never says anything problematic whatsoever. How does this even work? Supposedly, we're spinning it, bro. We're spinning it out of context. Definitely. Comment, even though I've never done anything racist in my entire life, I made a supposedly racist comment. Was supposedly racist. Wasn't even really racist for real. Entire life. Yes, I DSP. That money, I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Daily reminder that Nancy just accepts 5k worth of expenses as valid business activity. He takes at most 1k a month to run his business it's bushy time. <laughs> Big ups uh, guy with two names with tip bomb. Um, daily reminder that Nancy just accepts uh, 5k worth of expenses. Of course, that's it's totally nice. It's a perfect amount for somebody who just plays video games. Uh, he has, look at this, DSP's fan voted top 10 funniest remarks, funniest racist remarks of 2010. 10 videos, actually 9. Uh, <laughs> this is fucking great. This is great. Never said anything. Yeah. Let's oh, see what they are. Chinese or something. Hey, oh, you want some, uh, <laughs> you want some chicken chow mein? Maybe I distract him. <laughs> wow. Oh, doesn't that just look so delicious? And this is one of those shitty, actually, the ignorant racist jokes where just you take a stereotype and you say the closest thing that comes to it when you see that race. With the laziest fucking humor. Lazy as fuck. Not even clever, witty in any way. It's just you see somebody, you associate him with a stereotype because uh, maybe you were racist and then... You just say whatever you can think of that stereotype. Wow. What are you going to tell me? That Asians like to eat rice? Wow. Blows my fucking mind. What a humorous joke. Delicious. The king of humor. Oh, looks like fucking vomit on a plate, dude. Oh. That's what yeah. they eat over there. Ugh. That's what they oh, eat over there. And now, and now he loves it when he gets DoorDash with uh, other cuisines. Advanced. Uh, bah, bah, bah. I chewed the English language. Whoa. That is actually racist. That is actually fucking racist, man. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, foreign, foreign people speak funny. Heck, heck, heck. This is the, the funniest fucking shit. Hello to you. Hello. Trust me, Cole. You will be ready. Oh, Chiki Chang Wang! Hello! <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker! Just out of nowhere, out of nowhere, Chiki Chang Wang. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? I wasn't even ready for this. Oh, yeah! You want Chiki Chang? I give you Chiki Chang! It's a hundred identical. Ch what is even Chiki Chang? Is it a, like a, a food or something or some shit that he just, just came up with? Some random racist shit. I don't even know what the fuck it means. Chicky Chang fucking way. Ack, ack, ack. Oh no, this is all fucking racist. Wow. And I know this from 10 years ago, but come on. Please give me cocaine. Hello. And then after this, I'm gonna play about a minute of uh, Shane Dawson being racist. And keep in mind, that guy was the face of YouTube for a period of time. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh yes, we find other. We shoot them in the face. Oh wow, what the fuck? Yeah, wow. Ah. Heck, heck, heck. <laughs> oh, you want toy? Fuck you, I bring you rice. <laughs> Wow, another really elaborate joke. Very witty. He should do stand-up. Imagine if DSP doing stand-up. But he can't stand-up, his back hurts too much. 
from that car accident a million years ago. That he almost died. But it burned his face off. Now he wears a, a human-like mask that looks like a pig and a roach. That's the backstory. Yeah, it might be some Team America, South Park, uh, Troy Baker and the other guy type beat, but it's still, man, those guys at least kind of incorporated it in a funny way to make fun of stuff and make fun of racism and uh, satirize it. It's fucking satiric. This guy's not even trying. It just comes up with a stereotype. What is the easiest thing I can, ta can say about it? Oh, they have weird names. They have weird food. They have weird accents. Let's just go. Oh, did he also say Durka Durka? That, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> Look at this is comments under his videos. Wow, I know you're joking and all, but that Chinese shit you did at the timestamp is kind of racist and it made me feel awkward. I'm not even Asian. That was authentic. The authentic Chinese celebration dance. <laughs> okay, okay. Can the fakest laugh what? ever. What the hell? Are you kidding me? The epic adventures of Ding Dong Wong. Oh yeah, and, and Cartman is also a racist. He's an actual racist on the show. Unless you've watched the their latest special, which I'm not going to spoil you anything. It's, it's pretty fun. It's interesting. Oh, you killed Ding Dong. Oh, Ding Dong. Yeah, Ding okay. Dong Wow. Ding Dong Wong must come back for revenge. No. Ding Dong Fire! Yes! Wow. Get the taste of Ding Dong! Ding Dong will get you now! Fire! Who the fuck shoot me? This guy just yes. sucks, man. I took the vehicle out. And the, the audacity that he had to make specific videos about these moments, separate videos, so he can farm as many views as possible, it's is really despicable. Ding Dong Wong! Hi! You snipe Ding Dong! Now you're going to get the taste of the, the Dong Wong. <laughs> wow, amazing. Taste of the Dong Wong. Long strong dog. Oh, will you shut the fuck Yes, you taste my long strong dog. No sniping around. R. You know what they say. Two Wongs do not make a right. <laughs> shut the hell up. Ack, 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 ack. The most axe ever. Hey, it's Deus Ex. Wow, again. This is a running fucking joke in his channel. He has a Chicky Chang way. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What the fuck? It's very bad. One of the girls who work here. One of the girls. She has been gone for days. Her name is Ming Ling I hate this shit. This shit seriously, like, it pisses me off and disturbs me because I hate racism. Oh, you hate racism, you know, okay. I joke about it all the time in my playthroughs. I'll, I'll make racist jokes, but... No, I, I make racist, racist, racist jokes. I thought they were racial jokes, not racist jokes. Because racist jokes are bad, because they're racist, you know? This is me off. What huh? the hell is that? Oh no, I can't imagine him playing Sleeping Dogs, man. That whole game is set in Hong Kong. Imagine. So many racist moments. It's, it's basically a, this is how you don't be racist. Compilation. Or this is how you are racist. <laughs> what? He was talking in English. He literally just mocked his accent. The guy was talking in English. I fixed you up. Oh, thank you. Hello. Please give me good outfit for undercover. I. Okay, okay. Because it's so funny that they would say it, right? But I thought they were foreigners speaking your language. So I think you can be respectful for somebody bothering enough to learn your language so they can communicate with people like you that mock them. Oh well, yeah, I think there's something respectful in that. Your hand, I say. But anyways, they speak a different language, man. How many languages the DSP speak outside of Nording and Belching? I don't think those count. There might be different type of languages, like a version of sign language that is just with vibrations produced when you snort. I, um, Some like eco-location stuff. And he talks English, barely, barely, on the level of a 14-year-old. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's pretty obvious he, he hates uh, Asian people so much because they destroyed them in fighting games. 
Because this shit is not funny when you make fun of uh, other people for not being able to speak English or any other language properly because they go out of their way to learn it so they can communicate with more people and make their life better and actually add some quality to uh, some qualities to themselves. Then you have this guy making fun of you for no reason. Suck my pushy pushy. <laughs> Oh no, he was playing NBA. Or this looks like something else. This god hand? Shut the fuck up. Oh shit, it's a Durka party. Oh yes, here are Al Qaeda cops. Today we are out to catch the infidels. We have a hot tip that there is a domestic disturbance at the home of a Christian. Let us go shoot the fuck out of him. <laughs> oh no, here we have a woman without her shawl on. Time for a stoning. Today on Al Qaeda Cops. Durga, Durga, Muhammad Jihad. Durga, Durga. Durga, 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 Durga. Oh no. Oh no. No. Samas, Bozo Balamas? No. Durga, you want some Durga? I will give you some Durga. No. Oh yes, Bohala. Hey, he actually got a headshot for once. <laughs> this is, uh, this is disastrous, man. This is absolutely miserable. The the amount of people that he managed to, to make fun of racially is, is, uh, if I was a racist, I would be impressed. I would give him a, I don't know, a thumbs up. I will send you to your virgins, my friend. Yes, my friend. If you really believe there are virgins in the afterlife, I feel bad for you, my friend. Here you go. Oh, yes, in your fucking throat. Oh, oh, oh yes! Oh. This is what you get for making me miss Jihad Idol. Yeah, that's right. I'm black. I pull guns on my ass, son. Now watch this. Boom. Oh my god. Motherfucker. Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my fucking god. No. You Jews, you Mexicans. You what? You're so demanding. You just you're driving nuts. What? Did we get a addressing the Star of David people? This is dangerous, DSP. Don't meddle with them. All right. This is my last game for this set. Shut the fuck up, loser. Um, and this um, Mexican people for some reason. Last game for the set, and I got some stuff to do, so... Oh, no. No, 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 no. I can see what's gonna come here. I have no idea about this clip, but... Please, please don't be racist against this guy. What the fuck what kind of gibberish is that? Where you oh, my from? God. What the fuck kind of language is that shit? Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fucking God. That's right. I'm hardcore like that. When was the last time that you had the balls to insult an entire country? Yip, 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 Holy fuck. <laughs> what was this flex? What, when was the last time you were racist? Well, Phil, I'll, I'll give this one to you. You win. Congratulations. And this is 30 minutes of just back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back clips that are not edited in. Uh, in any way to twist anything. It's just the clips. It's just the clips. And this from a long time ago, but we're gonna get to, I think, a diverse selection of SISM. They, again, game, video games at one point were synonymous with Nintendo, and I'm sorry, but Nintendo fanboys are the most hardcore fucking fanboys on the planet Earth. They will defend Nintendo no matter what wrongs they do, right? They will defend Nintendo. Nintendo tomorrow, Iwata could come out and say, Please don't say it in a mocking Japanese accent. Please. It's gonna make you look terrible. Please understand. No! You, we don't no! Like Suck our big Japanese cocks! <laughs> and the fanboys would come out and say, Oh, that's great. We love sucking Japanese cocks. And they'd find ways to justify it. <laughs> Damn! Guys, see, I see. No. I still can't steal from this vending machine. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. Even Rambo was there and he called him out. He said, You didn't say that. Yeah, don't send me fucking hate mail. I didn't say that. Wow. In China, they say fucking badass DSP. To few. No, no, no. This is the cursed one. China, they say, Chiggy Chang, Wang, Charlie Chan, Chica Chaka Chaka Cha. Shut the fuck up. Care what they say in China. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Incredible. In China, they say, cat very delicious. Ha, ra, 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 ra. <laughs> 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 
one night in China. Ding chong, jingle jang chong. Jiggy jack chong, jiggy chow. <laughs> it's just endless there's 30 minutes of this this is insane 30 minutes man i didn't even know there was so much so much wow <laughs> yes holy fucking shit man oh yeah oh china china chinese china wow china what <laughs> oh, is this panda sitting there snickering at this? You better be not. Oh, you really are a hero. It's a good thing you really are a hero. The cows are sure to tell them. I love all the racial slurs in right? this game. What the okay, hell? Okay, okay, can it, guys? Please. I'd like to introduce you to the Get new janitor, Chicky Chang Chong. <laughs> well, all of them are called like that. Wow, all. This guy is not even like Asian. What the fuck? <laughs> he just couldn't help himself. Uh, speaking of offensive things, uh, one of these streams, like one of the past ones, we saw ones of, of him saying hateful slurs, and one of them he wanted to call something gay, and then he said, Oh, this is so gay! <laughs> it was great! He couldn't handle himself and then realized it was bad mid-sentence. It was great. One of them right there. His name is Chicky Chang Wang. Wow, this guy is a recurring character, man. Chicky. Handle your problem? He carries a mean tray. He's like in the DSP Cinematic Universe. <laughs> oh my god, no. No. <laughs> oh my god, it never ends. It never ends. We're not even like halfway through. I killed every Chang, Chong, Chinky Chang, Yang, Wang, everyone in the fucking town. Oh my lord. <laughs> he's not even fighting Asians in this instance. I don't know why he has to, but it's not, man. It's just for no reason, man. <laughs> every Chong, every Wong. That's how the P90 goes down. Every Chang, even Wang, shoot you in the head. That's how it goes down. Let's <laughs> get some takeout while we're here. Charlie Chan is the man till I pump him full of lead. I think they imported all of fucking Hong Kong. So many of them. All right, nigga. It's time. Oh yeah, this is the this is the one. This is the one where he just straight up says it and laughs it out. It's hilarious. But it was an impersonation, so it's okay. Let's hear it again. Oh. Uh, all right. So many of them. Individual of color. It's time. It's time. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, oh no no no! It's what another one of those. Another one of those. Thumbs down. Who? Ooh. My god. This guy was unleashed back in the day. All right, nigga. It's time. <laughs> okay, this one you, you're getting an extra replay for this one. Do you have Chinese? He he turned out uh, he turned into Arnold for a second there. The stationary Arnold. Hey boy, I like to look at Chinese women. <laughs> I like, to, I like to whack it after I pee in alley. Let us get straight to business. Chinese spray boy. Is your suitcase. Oh my god. Is your merchandise. Each bag contains one key. <laughs> Each kilo weighs a little more than... Two briefcases full of fortune cookie. Fuck you. you <laughs> That's grade A orange chicken. What double what you pay. Fuck you. Get out. Fuck you, get out. <laughs> okay, we're good. Mm. I'm glad. Well, well next flavor. time, I can give you twice the amount. Yeah, that's kind of how the, the Arnold thing happened anyways. He tried with a different version of it and said the most, the most offensive one. He managed to say it. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Arnold. General Sal's Coke. Great. <laughs> yes. Do you have some duck sauce for that? Wow. Oh, it was okay. T evil Italian eyes. There you go. Hey, this is that cool game with the... Uh... Oh, okay, it's Liana. Now he looks Asian. Doesn't exist anymore, but she used to. No, she does not Back in the day. 
not look Asian. Yeah, somebody's already in English. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what? Man, stop yourself. Walks in like no problem. Well, I'm Asian, so I could fit through holes. Oh, it's Chingy Chang Wang. She's brought along for the ride. Oh my god, no. Chinese. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it, man. Yeah, I'm gonna... Chinese. Only a couple more and that's gonna be it. Because this this whole thing is just... All of it is... It's just this. It's just this. And there's a... It's a half an hour compilation of racism, man. It's half an hour. Half an hour. Like half a pre-stream. It's like a third of a pre-stream. Dude. This happens when you let the Jews do whatever they want. The Jews over on oh no, this this one gets a skip. This one we know it by heart at this point. We know it disturbingly a lot. Shamalama ding dong. Good thing Rambo started talking over him so he could stop himself. Guy doesn't know when to stop. He doesn't know when to get off. Like you could swim, throw him in the fucking water. Wow, nice stereotype. Swim to the dock. You know he's gonna be surprised that uh, hey, he can swim. I'm black. I can't swim. All right, that's a bad joke. Hilarious that's joke. Racially insensitive and stereotypical joke. Or at least like he acknowledged it. Racially generalized humor. It's probably true. Okay. Yo, how I roll in my bus? Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Did you die, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> well okay that's that's enough of this that's enough of this but uh you get the point i think i managed to get my point across you know that uh of course he's not racist never been let's try and find something else what is this a different thing hmm okay this is recent this is recent this is Oh, and, and Sunny V2 made a video about him. That's actually pretty crazy. I'm, a year ago, this is how you don't stream. Which this is a channel that I think is pretty uh, popular, or well, at least very active. Let's see this one. This is a short one. And big ups to Shinko. Soundtrack's outstanding. La, la, la. Yeah, this was only half of the video. It was only half of the video. You, you, we don't really need more of that. Because it's just the same shit. La la la. Look out, there's a black woman coming, ah! <laughs> she takes them both out, boom! Steals the backpack and runs away. Oh. Okay, this is from, from actually, actually like a, two months ago. Actually. Let's see, where can I see the, the date? Maybe I'm missing it. I don't know, I'm confused. Three months ago. John Smith and Molly. I like how idiots immediately have to turn my silly joke that has absolutely nothing to do with race oh, this? into okay. something racial because they're dumb. No, you said a black woman was coming. That it had something with race because you um, intentionally Im said and emphasized the race of the person. That is kind of racist. Fuck, idiot. The, it was observational comedy. There was an actual observational comedy. Into them on okay. The street, and then I made a joke about someone robbing their shit. It had nothing to do with the color. Of wow, yeah. Look no, it the, exactly did. It exactly did. That's the relationship that you made between the color of her skin and the fucking racist stereotype that is known. That's exactly the connection. There's a black woman coming out. Look out, there's a black woman coming out. Look out, there's a black woman coming out. Look out, there's a black woman coming out. Ek, ek, ek. If you think that, fuck off, you stupid. Oh, fuck you. Okay. If you, if you say I'm racist, just fuck you. All right. That's a nice debunk. That's a nice addressing it. That's a nice uh, taking criticism. It's just if you don't like it, just fuck off. Racist piece of shit who would actually make a life works. Connection. You're an asshole. You're an Seriously, asshole. Like go fuck yourself. Okay. Bill's not an asshole. Yeah, he went out out of his way to say what the what race the character was to imply a racist stereotype. You know what I mean? There's so many of her sisters. Get it out. Get it out. It's too many of her sisters. 
Too many of her sister. He doesn't have a sister or a brother, so he wouldn't understand. How smile or smolder? What the fuck? Please don't say anything racist. Please. We don't need any of that anymore. <laughs> what is going on in this game? Uh is what? This situation not a bit ridiculous to you. Like, I'm pretty sure I can stop you if you Yeah, why is why is any of this like warranting laughing at it or mocking it or anything? I don't get it. It's just a, a, a game scene. Nothing special actually going on. The only thing, the only reason why he's mentioning it, it's because it's two African Americans talking to each other. That's the only reason. I don't know what's going on anymore. What do you mean you don't know what's going on? They took a picture. That was all that happened. I'm just gonna keep playing it. I what do you mean? This game. I don't Is there something about the story that you didn't expect? Really know what? what? Doing or what's going on? I feel like I'm like, I'm high or something. I don't know. Not even pick anything. No. Did she go to the police? Did we let you go? If you didn't think I would, you'd have no reason to keep me here. If I let you go, Becky and Vivek would think I'd lost my mind. It would be best I remain here. <laughs> okay. So Why are you only speaking to me in Is he gonna say something terrible? Please don't. Please don't. Because you're black. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't trust you. Oh my kids. fucking god. Oh my god. How? <laughs> Ow. That's the only commonality oh I can think of. Why else would he only talk to her? I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> fuck, that. man. Fuck off, you stupid racist piece of shit. Yeah, fuck off. Make that yeah. connection. You're fucking ass. racist. That's the only commonality I can think of. Why else would he only talk to her? I have no idea. Enough of your stupid... <laughs> Jesus, fuck. I want to know about you. <laughs> what do you want to know? Seriously, like, go fuck yourself. Seriously. You should. That's, uh, that's exactly what you should do. I don't know what we can watch now. Let's see. I'm removed from Twitch. We've seen that. Let's see. The stationary word. We saw that. That's just from uh, from Aquatil instead of uh, Kate Army Watch that we saw. There's some uh, Rona news that we're totally ignoring. Team Stars Horrible Weekend. Wow. Nice. So <laughs> Midlife Crisis on the thumbnail. That's a nice thumbnail. Gamer work debunks pre-stream. Oh wait, let's uh let's see this. The previous daily bag. Daily crap. The uh addressing his impending suspension. Halo Infinite, other boring things. We watched this, right? But it this wasn't uh even uploaded then. Now it is. Uh let me see. Let me see. Because one of those we didn't see, one of those we did. Hmm. Stream podcast daily wrapped. Oh, this was watched. Okay, Metroid Grade Lost Judgment Grind. And I did not say that. That's what I'm gonna watch and drop a dislike that's totally invisible and it will not matter to anything. Uh, good day today. Pretty good stream. Good day. Let me tell, tell me how good of a day it was. Fun. Um, and the, the support continued. I have zero complaints yet again. Three straight days of outstanding support that I've been playing Metroid Dread. No surprise, I didn't beat the game. A lot of people saying, oh, Phil will beat Metroid Dread in three sessions. That game is so short. No, I didn't beat. I knew I wouldn't. I'm an interactive streamer. What you got to realize is that when I play these games, I have a lot of extra stuff going on that you guys don't. In particular, I'm talking with my audience. I'm interacting. I'm updating the leaderboards. I'm having fun conversations, which is fine. I love that interaction, but it definitely holds up the gameplay. So maybe if I was just playing the game nonstop with zero interruptions and no interactions, I would have beaten it by now. But we're nine hours in and I haven't beaten it yet. Some people are basically like, oh, yeah, it's still I'm begging on the daily wrap. But I thought the support was good, but OK. And Phil's going to wrap it up at this point Um, today. <clears throat> surprisingly enough, in Metroid Dread, not as challenging as the last stream. The last is the sex bot is bad. Let's let's see if we can hide them from the channel. You know what I mean? Get in the the good old the lean in manual, manual hide. Okay, nice message deleted. Big ups, big ups. Just scam. Last stream I fought a couple bosses that were kind of cryptic and annoying. This time around, I fought a lot of mini bosses. We're not here to be horny, bro. <laughs> because we, you don't want to mix that and DSP. Because then you end up on the Officer Sanders side of history. Side of the internet. Where Kool-Aid is flowing and... Uh, yeah, very... Very... Very interesting stuff.
challenging at first, but I pretty much figured them out. There was actually a fight against two different mini bosses at once that I figured out within a few tries, no big deal. And even some Emmy fights, like today, without spoiling, there were some situations where the Emmy was kicking my butt, and then I like did an amazing reversal of fate counter move and got out of it, and people were like blown away. They were, holy God, that was so epic and cool. What? <laughs> Whoever said this? This is somehow this massive highlight. There's no videos by detractors that feature it. Probably wasn't that interesting. Most people had a lot of problems with certain Emmys in the game, and apparently I'm not, and I'm kind of turboing through those parts. So people were impressed with that. Uh, I love the game. I can't wait to play it more on, on Tuesday and finish it up. Okay. So that stream was great. Tonight's Lost Judgment stream, the good news is we made giant progress in the school stories. We're almost done with the bike club. Had to do <laughs> Phil, uh, no, he wouldn't ask for a cut from the sex bot. He would get scammed by them. He would get uh, catfished by a sex bot. Definitely. He's the type of guy. Because they don't let you just keep doing it. Then I had to go to do some of the boxing club. I unlocked a couple other clubs. So we're getting there. I would say within another two to three... Oh, yeah, and he's getting handheld all the time. That's that's kind of a regular at this point. But for him, it's a weird handheld because he claims it's been after the fact that he receives the advice, but then reads chat and sees the advice and then proceeds to do exactly what it says. And he still ends up uh, failing at some point. Of Lost Judgment, we might finish all... A lot of the times. Stories. He was cornering himself, and I've never played Metroid, but I can tell you probably cornering yourself is not great when somebody's trying to kill you. Because we got to finish just sitting stationary the bike club finish the boxing club finish the robotics club one stage of the dancing club whatever this stupid girls bar club is that i just unlocked and photography club now <clears throat> that may sound like a lot but some of these can be beaten very quickly and others is like just a few grinding matches that i need to get through like boxing club each match is what five ten minutes this is fucking terrible get boxing club in a, in a, okay in a, get to the the actual thing yet don't tell me about a boxing club we're not okay. fucking boxing here. This is not a boxing stream. Okay. We're not here to conversate. So we'll see what happens. Either subscribe, donate, or shut the fuck up. Now, or get the fuck out. Was it that? On the Lost Judgment stream was slow. Okay, I support was slow. Okay. I expect I slow support. Lost Judgment. It's a game. A slow day. For two months. Happens to every business. Still showing up for those streams and supporting them as much as you are. Um, it would be great to have more, but there's not much you can do about that. And uh, it continues on Tuesday night. Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. It's okay. Very interesting because tomorrow we get the first major stream of GTA Vice City Definitive Edition. Gonna see for a giant stream how this game actually operates in the modern day on modern consoles. A lot of people have said that Vice City has a lot of problems. I guess we're gonna. A see lot of people have said, but I think you dismissed those people when the games came out and when they were saying the trilogy is not good and it's not stable and the uh, innovations are not innovative pretty much at all because modders that work for free did the better job. And uh, you said that all the people that are complaining about the games not looking good, uh, being ports of a mobile version of the game, and so on, they were idiots. But no, instead, yeah. Now now it's something else. Now it's people are saying it's not good. Let's see. Those same people he discredited for being shitheads and idiots. Stoked because number one, 1980s, the music is going to be so cool to be singing this music with you guys and just chilling with you in Vice City again. Some of the missions, right? Are they going to... He's talking about it like it's a musical game. Like it's a, a game like fucking Rocksmith or Guitar Hero. It's not. It's fucking GTA. Don't hype it up so much just because it's going to have music. Be as difficult as they well, used to be. it's going to be difficult. Here now, we're going to find out. The graphics, the game looks like a completely different game with these modernized graphics. It just really does. So... I'm stoked. I hope you guys will join and support my stream of Vice City tomorrow in the mainstream slot. The late stream tomorrow night is Halo Infinite. Now listen up. This essentially is a make or break stream for me. And here's why. I've enjoyed playing Halo Infinite twice a week the last couple of weeks. Okay. I'm getting better at the game. But it was hostage. And now it's going to be hostage again. I wonder if he's going to call his stream a hostage situation and say like, oh, it's the make or break stream for, for Halo. I'm just going to stop playing it. Like he said earlier. Leaderboards most of the games that I'm playing. But the support is just not there. When I'm playing this game, the support is actually slower than when I'm playing Lost Judgment. And it's a new game, brand hot new game. The biggest multiplayer game out right now. And people are telling me they want to see it. People are attending the streams. Yes. If people don't support the streams, I can't continue to keep playing. Well, maybe it doesn't reflect like that. Maybe that's not how it works. Because your product is free. If your product was paid and they were consuming it then that's a good fucking thing but uh the, his product is free so people watching it and giving him money are two independent things they are related in some way but it's not a 
really a primary relationship it's like a secondary thing okay more like the attendance can reflect an ad revenue okay i understand that but not in not in tips in just the general term of support so monday night let's see how halo infinite goes if we get a good amount of support then i'll continue to play it twice a week and try to get better at the game if yeah he can play uh he can play what the uh, piece of peace plays it's a great game called rocksmith but you need an actual guitar for that you could play that and just put the the sound the music on his neck phones but not on the stream so the stream is going to be silent and it's just going to be him talking about the game and he's going to be listening to the music and playing the song that would be the funniest shit ever but he would never do that obviously if not i'm going to strongly consider maybe doing something different rotating something else in rotating i want to see and will support so let's see what happens monday night i really hope people do show up and support because i want to keep playing halo infinite i love the game i liked it but then just keep playing play it. it twice a week if the same way you're still playing laws judgment the streams end up being the slow streams of the week okay as i've already stated tuesday it's going to be the conclusion of metroid dread and more lost judgment i'm off from streaming on wednesday but when i come back on thursday it's oh yeah obviously he's not gonna play a real guitar it's the premiere the halo you play a fake guitar campaign which a lot of people have been wondering with any no he couldn't even play a uh, guitar hero good we're gonna find out firsthand because okay. you need rhythm for that and you need uh at least reflexes okay um, obviously that's really about it for the daily wrap there's a lot of new things going on for example there's a okay new pro what about i did not say it but that's about it for the daily wrap how how come Profile picture. There's a new watermark. A new profile picture is not good. The watermark is just bad. The the it's just not a good picture, man. It's just a logo that was skewed. There's a new overlay that I'm now using for the pre-stream podcast, which is really neat. Pre-stream podcast. Look at this. Wow. Blow your mind. Use. Insane. I'm gonna be using every but day. you don't have to because podcasts usually have one layout that helps you stand out visually. So when people look at your podcast and the the channel icon and the thumbnails and the layout of the podcast, it helps you create one unified brand with consistent color schemes, consistent designs, consistent everything. And by changing your shit every single day, you lose that completely. Hey, for the pre-stream podcast. So a lot of cool things that are making the streams look better. Um, if you're wondering... Back in the day, I used to play Guitar Hero on a keyboard goes about as good as you expect why i'm not giving shout outs to the people making this artwork they specifically contacted me behind the scenes and yeah. asked me not to they said please just keep our names out of it that way we they don't want that on their resume get harassed on definitely don't so i'm doing that okay the only last thing today that's really even worth talking about when i was playing metroid dread um people were contributing a lot which i really appreciate and the animation kept popping up of jingle all the way wow great Schwarzenegger, who's the okay the there we go movie, punches a santa in the face okay it's a silly, silly animation um so i made a joke about like being phil schwarzenegger and then i combined i was like like phil's a nigger you know, yes like hey now he said it but in his pre-stream address of this he couldn't remember what he said what did i say uh phil schwartz burnell no so i did that and on, all of a sudden the idiots on the stream who like to cause drama and are half trolls say, uh, he, did you hear what Phil said? Uh. He said a racist word. Like, what? What? No, I didn't. If you actually watch the stream, you hear, I never did. It's what you're saying never happened. What you're trying to do is try to take something out of context to what actually happened on the stream. Just like what they tried to do on Twitch many months ago. And I uh, the artwork, I think, uh, the, the layout, that's what he meant. People wanted to be anonymous for it's playing returnal the different layouts they tried to say i said something i didn't do no i, I haven't seen your artwork because i went to scroll through his slides the other day i didn't see it now here's the thing oh so it probably got a uh, banned on twitch the moderators are a bunch of fucking idiots they're literally a bunch of dumb kids who volunteer to do the work so the moment a video gets flagged on twitch for something they fucking take down your channel which is yeah yeah okay cool. that's that's how it works it, and then they remove removed it oh shit sorry that was a mistake you really didn't say that okay I guarantee you these morons right now are probably all over the internet talking about this. Even all over the internet. All over it. We're on uh, 4chan talking about DSP. There better not be a 4chan sub message board about DSP because, yeah, that's probably going to be filled with gay ops. They're literally taking it out of context to make it sound like something I didn't say. They're morons, so they can go fuck themselves. I don't care about that. If you hear a little bit of white noise about it, they can go go fuck themselves. It's, nothing's going to come of it. YouTube is not going to shut down my fucking channel for something that didn't happen okay <clears throat> you don't have to worry about it that's the difference oh yeah i can actually pull up that's the artwork difference 
between you I can pull it up real quick. Twitch, you always got to walk on fucking eggshells when you're over there because God forbid you say something that sounds like something else that you didn't even say, you get in trouble for it. On YouTube, they don't fuck around with that. I, I, I'm not kidding you. I have zero, zero worry about it because it didn't happen, the stuff that they're saying. Happened. Zero worry, Phil. Between bitches, and they can go fuck themselves. So. That's it, my friends. Have a good evening. See you in the morning for Vice City. Yeah, yeah, epic. That's great. Let me just find which one it was, and I'm going to put it up on the screen, the artwork, since he's going to be done with playing Metroid, so. Yeah, I found it. Uh, let me just play some other video. Or not. Okay. Let's see. I think I can do it like this. Okay. Now this is it. It's the epic artwork that uh, that James made. For uh, Arnold Burnell. Pretty good. I wonder why he didn't use it. Great fucking artwork. Has him. So you know it's him playing the game. As his old icon. Oh maybe it's because it's the old icon. People wouldn't know man. As a DSP Gaming, that's the name of the channel, obviously. He presents it in Metroid Dread, name of the game. I don't get what is what is wrong with this. Oh yeah, it's a it's a woman's body. Okay. Yeah, that that, that kind of makes sense. Samus is a uh, is a lady. Ah. Uh, yeah, well, it is what it is. And uh, okay, let's carry on to the next, the next uh, epic video, which I don't prepared i have no idea what that's gonna be huh let's go to something bad oh digital goods he was ranting about digital stuff that was on yesterday's stream big ups uh aqua teal for the video now there's actually a news story out today it's it's very odd to me this news story i don't understand it at all it's on social media and there's a bunch of people talking about this and i feel like i want to discuss it even though it just sounds so ludicrous to me okay there's actually people <clears throat> complaining about the fact that there's people so so this is the regular the regular segment that is now a thing of dsp reading something on twitter and seeing a couple of replies that probably got ratioed like we saw yesterday they got ratioed by ltg a picture of naked ltg got the ratio on that and yeah he sees it he gets angry at it and he vents about people on twitter that are not like individual people that he's gonna call out individually by name he doesn't have enough of a spine, but instead he's just going to call up some, some random tweets that he saw. Very nice. Disc. The disc, which, by the way, you don't need it. There's no reason to have Halo Infinite on a physical disc. Halo Infinite is an all-digital game. The multiplayer came out almost a month ago digitally for free. Everyone can download it and play it right now on PC or an Xbox console. You don't even need Xbox Live. <clears throat> okay? The campaign is being sold on a disc. Okay? And the complaint is... If you buy the physical disc of Halo Infinite at a store, which I don't even know why they're selling it, because you have Game Pass, it's free, but they're selling it. Why not? People that don't want Game Pass, or maybe they just want a physical edition. I have no idea. If you buy the disc at the store and you come home <clears throat> and you put the disc into your Xbox... What about if they have a collection and they just like to have the physical stuff? Because it's their collection, it's their thing. It's their copy of the game. Not the, like the digital one, because there's people like that. There's all sorts of people. And I, I like some of my stuff to be digital. The ones that have cool cover art I, I want to add to my collection. I, li I like that uh, to be physical. And I have some digital stuff. So why not both? And why not? And why is it bad? I don't get it. Only thing that annoys me is having to put in the disc, then it copies, then it downloads all the updates. But it is what it is. That's kind of how it works. Same with PC. If you, if you get the game, you put in the disc, you got to install it. Even though I don't even know if... There's a lot of physical stuff for PC anymore. Console. The campaign's not on the disc. <laughs> when you put it into your console, it's a very limited version of the game and nothing will work. You have to connect to the internet and download the real game. There's actually people complaining about this. Saying, I don't like the practice that when I buy a physical disc, I have to come home and, and download the real game. I should have it on the disc. I hate this. This is bullshit. Oh, what is annoying is having the disc inside and not being able to play the game without the disc being inside that is annoying but it's it's how it works so you don't get one guy buying the disc and then giving it to a bunch of people be able to play the game off the disc okay <clears throat> and i'm like are there people who just haven't played games in like five years 
and they heard Halo was coming back, so they decided. To yeah, he couldn't. That's that's true, Steve. He can't empathize to the level of can't even relate to somebody who would buy a digital disc. Can't relate to anyone. Again or something like where have you been? For the past five years and by the way i'm not, ag I'm not agreeing work? with the practice i'm not i remember the days when you could go to the store buy a game you come home you pop the game disc into your console and you are playing the game the game not a, a version of the game that's unfinished not one third of the game and then later you load the rest of the game you're playing the game that's the game you get on the disc in fact it was interesting because back in the day i used to play fighting games on consoles and because there were no online patches or updates for fighting games online you would basically have yeah with physical game. games you used to get some extra stuff uh, there was the map for red dead redemption 2 that i saw thought was great and a bunch of other stuff like guides and some artwork or whatever it used to be cool and just the physical having the case is cool and the disc looks nice that was it so you would get for example super street fighter 2 turbo on the playstation 1 was very inferior to the arcade version, but that's what you played if you had it. And if they had tournaments running on it, you just had to accept it. There was no patching after the fact to fix bugs or issues. You just had to accept that they were in the game. And that was that. It actually changed the face of competitive Street Fighter for a while because whatever became the tournament standard on console is what you were forced to play with, you see? Well, yeah, that's why Today, you fought like, okay, tournament I standards. A game on a disc, I brought it home, I put it into my console. It installed a 300 megabyte file off the disc. That's okay. A placeholder file for the game. It then initiated an online download for the, the real game. Placeholder file. Just 100 gigabytes. And now I have to sit here for five hours because I don't have good internet and download the whole game off the internet. It doesn't have good internet. That's Maybe that's him of... trying to relate to people who don't have good internet. To serve his point, by the way, not to just relate to somebody. Just to prove his own point. Modern gaming. Now, years ago, all right. Many years ago, I I saw this beginning. I knew this was going to happen um, when games started to go full digital, right? When there really started to be less and less incentive to go to the store and physically buy the game in person. And instead, every game had this issue where you bought it, you're not playing the game. You have to download the real game to play it. Um, when I started as a content creator 13 years ago, release day unboxing was one of my favorite things to do. I would go to the You game. know what a physical edition I love? I love the Fallout 76 edition with the helmet that was actually toxic and uh, that backpack that was made out of just nylon. It was great. I didn't get it, but it, it was great. It made for some great videos. Store, pick up a bunch of games physically, sometimes the collector's editions of games that came with swag and collectibles and all kinds of stuff. I would unbox that. And Bethesda's uh, actual, actual response to people complaining about this was... We are not planning on doing anything about it, and we made the bag out of nylon because it was cheaper to make. That, that's their actual response. Fucking nice. Mature adults with a business degree, with a game developer degree. <laughs> awesome. That live and show all of that stuff off for you guys, and then upload that video at the very beginning of a playthrough. It built hype for the playthrough that I was about to play and upload to YouTube. It got people excited. For that game because you got into the lore and the culture of the game by looking at the stuff that came physically with the game and then over the years you started to notice it just dissipated more and more and more you just started seeing it go away every year less in the box yeah they they said shortage of canvas some nonsense but it was all just nonsense but they said we're not going to do anything about it and it was cheaper to make best fucking thing less swag the box not having anything written on it anymore. You open up the box, there's no inside of the insert of the box anymore. It's all just like epilepsy seizure warnings and stuff. Okay. And then you, oh, oh is this an instruction book that you open it up? There's nothing in it. It's blank. But it all comes down to preference. I don't know why he has to go on for so long about it. It all comes down to preference. If you want one thing, then just do one thing. If you want the other thing, then just do the other thing. If having the physical game makes you feel more like you have the physical copy or make you feel like you have your own unique copy that is yours of the game that's nice just just have that do that or if you like digital stuff just do that instead even if you like to be a member of one of those subscription services that give you a bunch of games for free then you can just do that but then you don't get to own them so you kind of know what it's all about and you decide what it is about come on why why is it a bad thing why is it worth 15 minutes of a discussion Sometimes there's no instruction booklet anymore. Like literally you buy the game, you open it, there's just a game disc. There's nothing else inside. So 
That was a series, release day unboxing, that I absolutely loved and cherished doing. And just over the years, seeing the evolution of gaming culture and the way that, that game manufacturers started treating physical releases differently made that obsolete and I phased it out because there was no, nothing to do anymore. People were like, okay, release day unboxing. Wait, there's nothing in the box. This is just a disc, right? And that disc didn't even have the game on it. Yeah, you can also sell so the, the, the physical copy. Right. That's that's a big benefit that you can sell it. Or you can put it in one of those uh, those secondhand stores where just, they, they would just buy a bunch of games for some for some random price. So, But you can definitely do that. And you can make some money on the side from just selling stuff you don't need like that, like games. Just uh, knowing when to sell it. With that gradually happening, I kind of saw the writing on the wall. The game companies were essentially saying we don't want to do physical copies anymore the cost oh yeah that's uh that's a great one from the fallout 76 saga is when uh they uh they said we'll give you the canvas bag send us your information and then the the data was leaked because they got hacked and everybody got their fucking info revealed that was ridiculous of making it right you have to manufacture yeah, and he was giving away he was giving away empty video game boxes of stuff the king of fey giveaways it's so good and, and i'll just go and show you a clip now so you can have some idea of how he was trying to market those giveaways esp gaming what was it a uh, fake giveaway yeah there it is giveaways and contests the following tries it. has been BSP world order ESP is giving it away. Dark side Phil here and welcome Dark side Phil here. To the hardcore gaming season giveaway of 2013. All right, the very first item I'm giving away is Deus Ex Human Revolution's Collector's Edition content. So let me show you what exactly that Collector's is. Collector's Edition Deus content. Human okay. Collector's Edition. Very nice. This very nifty collector's wow. box on the inside. Comes with a few things. First of all, Collector's Edition packaging. Okay. As you open that up. You're gonna see the game's gone because I traded it in years <laughs> the ago. The game is gone. I, the second... I traded it in years ago. The game is gone. But I think this is relevant enough that I should give a giveaway for it. Come on, man. You could have given away one fucking actual game. Actual game. An actual game. How about that? You're a gamer, right? Just don't trade it in. Come on, you're a full time fucking YouTuber. How does this work? Bonus. But this is what he deemed was reasonable to give away. This is what I'm give away. Uh, I'm gonna give away to one of uh, the people that enjoys me and bothered to participate in this giveaway. That's what I'm gonna give them: an empty box with a disc that just has the the special edition content in it. Maybe some artwork, some uh, some videos, some behind the scenes footage. This that probably has the behind the scenes content. Yeah, the behind the scenes. Okay. Yeah. How much would you like to have that autographed by me? Pretty cool, right? And welcome. Welcome. To week two. Of Let's the see what this one is. Season giveaway for 2013. I'd be more than willing to sign to you, Sex. However, I looked inside of it, okay. and it looks like it's all dark. Like everything's black, so uh -huh. it probably makes more sense to have me maybe sign a few business cards and stuff. So, Felix, when I contact you, please respond. Yeah, I could have bought a, a silver marker to sign stuff. <laughs> it's so good, man. His his excuses are so great. And let me know if you want me to include some signed business cards with this. Oh! And Pandali here. Well, what what was this raw? This roar, actually. Announcement of the winner for the hardcore gaming season giveaway of twenty. Hardcore gaming season. Are you giving away a game? It's my fault. He has it on a little piece of paper. Why is? Oh yeah, this because uh, somebody won. This week we will be giving away. Dark freaking souls. Now keep in mind. The game. I'll clarify, this is not the game. The game I actually traded uh, several it months sucks. ago. Because obviously this is a game that will live in infamy when it comes to my playthrough of it. Yeah, he has business cards. I don't know if you guys know the DSP business card. I'm going to pull that up. I played it's great. I made an honest college try to beat the game by my own. I couldn't do it. I was too too annoyed by the game. Because at this point, I derailed myself later, so much. Here it is. Stream, uh, you know, cooperatively with other fans and viewers, went through it and did finally beat it. Of course, there's always the, the whiners who are going to complain about the way that I did it. All right, everybody. DSP and you're complaining here. about what the compl up? the uh, whiners. What does that make it? Hardcore gaming season giveaway yet again. We're going to uh, pick the week six winner for the Puppeteer on PS3. And then we're going to actually pick what's going to be the next giveaway. Mass Effect 3 Collector's Edition. But the game is not in it. But so the game is not in it. For full disclosure. 
Where is it? No okay, here it is. Here it is. The DSP Gaming Business Card. Dark Side Phil. Making gaming videos since before it was cool. Exclamation mark. Phil Burnell. Full time gamer, streamer, YouTuber. Dox is his address. The contact email is phil at the king of hate.com. The king of hate is business email. And then an HTTP link to YouTube with the www and everything else, as, as he has copied it from uh, the URL bar. The king of hate.com official website, vlogging channel, the king of hate vlogs. Very nice business card. Uh, tweet me at they call me DSP and became and become a patron. He <laughs> he actually. Oh no. Okay. Asks for for patrons on a business fucking card. This is great. Um, but now he changed the business. He evolved. Now he is. Uh, the company's name is Burnell Productions. Is oh, this is way too quiet. Of on demand and also live video streaming services. Live video services. You know what it is. On demand begging. This really cool steelbook case. Wow, really cool. It does look cool, but when the game's not in it, it makes it kind of irrelevant to have it. What is up, everyone? Dark side. What is up, here. everyone? Because having these things as like a collector's thing is kind of for a collection where you have some value in the stuff that you own because they relate to you somehow. You know, you have some personal relation with that object. Isn't it like that? Like when you buy a cool collector's edition, then you really enjoy the game and your experience with it. And that's why you like it, that you have it. I think that's the logic behind why you would have this. But there's, the game's not in it. So even if he gives it away and you take it and you play it, you don't have that experience. You don't play that that game that was a collector's thing. Welcome to week nine. Wow, that's good. The hardcore gaming season giveaway. All right, well, it's not a very good one, I'll admit. It's not a very good one. Why? Because the game's not there? Wrath of the White Witch came with a really unique and awesome steel book case. Look at this. Full anime drawing artwork metallic. On the back, there's more. Wow. And the inside is fully animated. See that fully are uh, fully animated. Uh, decorated with artwork from the game. Alright. I already traded in the game. I already traded in the game. Okay, what is up everyone? Dark Side Phil here and welcome to week eleven. No this Halo Force Collector's Edition content. Okay. Uh, this one is unfortunately not good. I did uh, redeem the other uh, collector's edition content. This stuff I already redeemed, so that's no good. But you'll get the card, and you'll get the case. Okay, the case. Right here. Let's see. Is there something in it? I traded the game in, but unfortunately, I don't have it. Steelbook. Then what? Game. What is it good for? It's what am I gonna do with it? Just gonna stay in my collection. Then my friends are gonna come over, and they're gonna be, "Whoa, you have the the Halo, whatever this was." Final Fantasy, whatever it was, you have that collector's edition. Was that game good? I don't know. I got it from some scammer on the internet. Game's not there. They're gonna think you're a loser. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing no, not for not for the game, but for liking DSP. The biggest giveaway Definitely. ever that I've ever done. If you had honest friends and you were watching DSP, they would tell you stop doing it. And you won't believe what it is when I finally tell you what it is. Starting in January, and there's gonna be eligibility both on YouTube and on the on streaming. I'm going to be honest, people on the stream are going to have a little bit more priority if they're a paid subscriber, okay? Because basically everyone's going to be able to enter on the forums, and paid subscribers are automatically entered, but they're entered into a much smaller pool, okay? Cool. So Then um, why why don't you give, give away two things? How about that? Why would you run a contest? Yeah, exactly what it says on screen. How do you want to run a contest with two groups of people, and one group has priority over the other, and it's the same thing? Give away two games or two cases, okay? And one of them is gonna be better because it's for the guys that pay. Explain more about this as we get closer, but the biggest giveaway ever is coming in 2014. Let's put it that way. But we've got next week we'll pick the winner of this week and then one more week where we're gonna draw a new game. So wow, we are just moving full speed ahead with the hardcore gaming season giveaway. Thank you for participating. I'll see you for gameplay and uh, peace out. Make it stop. Very nice. Okay, let's get back uh, to the topic here. The physical bad. Disc. You have the to NPC the tape. Game onto the disc. You have to make the box, box art, mass produce the insert for the box. Then you have to physically have those things combined somewhere. Then you have to have them packaged. You have to have them shipped. Logistics, money, cost of shipped them. Yeah, that's that's true. Paid subscribers should get the game, and the freebie pool should get the the case. But I wouldn't recommend giving out a case, giving away an actual case. 
because that's that's lame just give away two games and one of them is gonna be better more expensive more popular whatever for the guys that pay store and he could afford to give away two games come on he had physical stuff could have given away anything for them get them physically out to stores and everything now physical stores obviously love having physical games because that's the thing is that he had way too much garbage and decided to not give it away at all in in ways of like a, a reward for growing the channel or this happened that that happened christmas giveaway something that gets people to come into the store and buy the games right you know it's, something, it's a product for them to sell that's popular yeah i understand you cats but that's uh that's the logic i understand but generally the, the giving away the case is just weird but what you uh, sindara for super chat says uh, about the most welfare giveaways i've ever seen basically yeah you would say that that he wasn't this big popular streamer uh, actually on-demand video maker would think he was a small guy back then, but no, he got a bunch of games. He just didn't want to give away any of it. What you've seen over the years is that it's just not necessary anymore, right? When you go into Best Buy or you go into Walmart or you go into Target and you see their game section, okay, the games are there, but are you really enticed? But to it's, buy the, it's the same logic of people buying Blu-rays of movies and people buying uh, vinyls. It's the same thing. You want to buy a record for your collection? That's great. I have a couple myself. It's cool. If you want to buy a movie to have on Blu-ray, that's cool for your collection or whatever. Just watch it, return it, whatever, man. Whatever. I don't get why would that be a weird thing. It's just different stuff, and he doesn't like different stuff. He likes things that only he agrees with, and nobody else should do the other thing. Because that makes it bad. The game there because you see it anymore. You could have got that game at release. I mean, look at the Yeah, you do feel the ownership. Game digitally. You can pre-order cool. it and preload it on your console right away. It's already good to go with all the patches and everything needed to play it when it unlocks whatever the time is that it unlocks your local time. Usually it's... Okay, give away 48 hours Xbox Gold. <laughs> 48 hours. Night or earlier. Oh, here's 9 p.m. Yeah, some people have VHS. That's true. Day before. But and it makes you feel like you own the stuff and it's your collection. You get to see it and it looks nice and it's aesthetically cool. Come on. This is why you would do it. Come on, DSP, you would know. You had a bunch of statues. Because that's considered midnight East Coast time. So typically we could play it around 9 p.m. here on the West Coast. <clears throat> so for me, I like the digital deal. I like paying for it early. So it's already done. I get the game. It's already on my console. It's ready to go. Do I play it at 9 p.m.? No. The days of having midnight releases are very overrated. And I don't really care that much about that anymore. But I definitely see the advantage. And... For the longest time, like, I, I I remember the game that started it all, Star Fox, back on the Wii U, when I got Star Fox. Yeah, that's Fox true. The, the vinyl and Blu-ray all have, like, really, really good quality. So if you have a nice system, if you have, like, a record player and everything, it, it's just great. I don't know why not. It's on the Wii U. I said, this will be the last physical game I get because there's just no... Because when you digitalize everything, then they come the streaming services, like now. You all know how it works. And then at some point, you kind of lose ownership to all of the stuff. Because that's kind of how it is. If you don't pay the membership, can watch Netflix. But if you have the movie on on Blu-ray, you can watch it. To do this anymore, the release day unboxings were terrible. I was like, I'm stopping this. So since then, ev almost every game I got digitally, with a few exceptions. Like for example, I remember buying Arms physically. I remember buying Breath of the Wild physically. I remember getting um, Divinity Two last year. I got a physical copy because it actually was. Um, or was that this year? Whenever that was, I don't even fucking know anymore. The game's so boring. But anyway, Divinity 2, I got a physical copy off Amazon because it was cheaper than getting it digitally. And there are cases where because um, the physical game was stocked and sold and is sitting on a shelf unsold, the physical game will be cheaper than getting it digitally. Yeah, That's also if you, if you have bandwidth limitations, it's, of course. That sounds. You can sometimes get discounts by buying the physical version on, say, Amazon uh, than getting the, uh, a, an all digital edition. So in those cases, I like having the ability to have the disc, and that's why when I got my PS5 with the disc drive, even though originally I wanted to go all digital, I wasn't too upset about it. I was like, you know, it's fine. Eventually, I'm going to use it. And I have, I've used it at least once. Maybe I'll use it again in the future for stuff, okay? But anyway, the point I'm making here is the writing's been on the wall for many, many years that these game companies don't want to make physical copies. They very much want to phase them out and go all digital. Well, digital stuff is free to make, so yeah. Um, I mean, it's not free, but you know what I mean. You don't need to make the discs and everything. All right. If the point 
of buying a game and you come home and you have to install the whole game off the internet. If you don't understand this yet, like, I don't know where you've been. I mean, and I'm not, again, I'm not necessarily agreeing with the practice. I like the idea that you've bought a game and it's on a disc and you don't need internet. You can put it in your console and play the game, especially if you're talking about the single player component of the game. That seems to be the real issue of contention here is when you buy Halo Infinite physically and you put it in your console, there's no Halo Infinite campaign at all on the disc at all. Now, what's the one thing you would want to play offline if you didn't have an internet and you bought Halo Internet? Or Infinite, the campaign, right? You're not playing online multiplayer. You, oh, I want to play the campaign. That's what I bought the physical disc for. Put it in your console. It's not even on the disc. You got to download it off the internet. So I think that's why people are right. arguing here. Okay. Um, yeah, that that would be weird if you don't have internet. But still. But that's a few cases that, that I I would think it would happen. Come on. Understand where people have been and how you're not understanding the cultural shift that's happening here with both gamers and game developers. That physical is gone, man. It's on the way out. It's archaic. Is it nice to have a little collection of games in your game room? Or if you're a content creator behind you, you have a shelf full of games. You think it's so cool. That's the most played out thing I've ever seen. People have been doing it for like 20 years. But Dude, you had your PlayStation 4 box and your Xbox Series X box and your Nintendo Switch box right behind you on your stream. And people having a collection of games that would be in their backdrop because they like those games and they played them. That's worn out and it's not cool anymore because Phil is not doing it. This guy is a fucking clown. They still think that it's cool to have a fucking game collection behind you or whatever when you film or whatever. It, you know, there's no point to it anymore. There's just not. It's a bunch of, of, of space taking crap. It doesn't mean anything. The disc isn't the game. It's literally a placeholder, right? Take a sip. We're having bad takes so like this. I don't understand the argument. You gotta I mean, hydrate. I know, I, okay, I get it. I know where they're coming from, but it's kind of like saying, well, everything in the world's changed in the last 10 years, but I still wish that we were, you know, in the year 2009. Well, yeah, 2009 was a great year, but we're in 2021. You either accept it or you can look pretty immature clinging to the past what when things have changed all around. Dude, you. this this is a this guy's going through a midlife crisis. There's no way around it. Because he constantly wants to feel superior about every single thing. Every single thing he wants to be better. Every single thing. Even completely meaningless things like this. That is just up to your decision of what you're going to do. He's going to call people insecure and being outdated. And uh, immature. Which is totally not what DSP is. You either adapt or to survive or you, you die, right? Exactly. Darwinism. Why can you barely break a thousand views on your business? Why? You either adapt or you go extinct. Adapt or you die. That's yeah. How it works. How it works. <laughs> oh, I'm clinging on to all my boxes and I refuse to let go of them and I want to have physical game and why isn't the game on the day? Dude, this has been happening for what how this, many years? What is this? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Who? Who is there? Just somebody that he doesn't like that he imagined. You're not in line with what's going on yet. How did you not see the trend uh, happening? right seriously um now one thing that i absolutely positively have to say about this though is that if we are going to go to an all digital world which it seems like that's the trend that's where we're headed then we have to have preservation of games we have to have buy-in from big companies buy-in they also have to buy in Sony and microsoft preservation they're going to preserve the classics digitally dsp's fans have to buy in to preserve dsp that's literally exactly what it is. Uh, or as he would put it. Scumbags and mental cases on the internet still support me. I agree with you. Because if we all own games digitally. I agree with you. We don't have them physically. In 20 years when I want to play in. the Halo Infinite Please. campaign. What if it's not, oh, it's not available digitally anymore. You can't get it. So you can't play it. What? But not, so I, I, I'll, no, no, don't worry. I own the disc. Oops, the game's not on the disc. Right? So if we're going to go all digital, we have to have. Yeah, also he, he bought all his consoles or not the digital version. He didn't get the, the PS5 digital. He got the one with the disc, despite not buying any discs. So he he's kind of contributing to the other point that he's not trying to make. We do. We have to have the buy-in from these companies that they're going to preserve gaming culture for us. No more, oh, like the Sony CEO who a year ago was like, 
Who would want to play old Sony games? Who wants to play PS1? Yeah, that Activision like, QA debunk was terrible. Me. Someone me. who's playing PS1 who feels nostalgic about those games and wants to go re-experience the classics. Me. Many of which were never ported or reissued or remastered for modern console. I want to play the classics. Don't tell me that we don't need to have these preserved. We do. It's a major part of gaming culture. If you're going to tell me that games are art, because that's really what we're headed towards now. Games are art. Games are works of art okay. that need to be enjoyed and preserved, right? So then preserve them. Don't tell me, oh, well, we have no way to play them and we're going to get rid of the PlayStation Store on PS3 so you can't play that stuff. We're just going to toss everything away. That's ridiculous, <clears throat> you know? So, you know, that's the thing is that, you know, all these game companies want to try to push the future on us. But then they have to prepare for that, you know, and if they don't, then then shame on them for making us all go all digital and then saying, oh, by the way, at any moment we can pull the plug on the digital. Now you have no access to any of that content that's that you've hard, purchased right? over the years. That's good content that maybe you want to go back to. Like there's many games that I've gone back to over and over over the years and having them digitally allows me to replay them a few times without having to rebuy them. Right. That's a good thing. So um, anyway, <clears throat> the whole deal. uh he forgot what the whole deal was the about. He completely spaced out. Anyway, what was the whole deal? What was the point that I was trying to make before I derailed myself into calling people immature and calling them all these names? With the whole Halo Infinite thing is I don't think it's a big deal at all. Just being honest. I think it's kind of a silly thing. But you just went against it that people with no internet couldn't play the game. You, but it's not a big deal. Why is this a 15 minute segment when it's not a big deal? Big deals... Uh, not big deals take about 30 seconds to maybe five minutes uh, to just discuss if you want to go lengthy but come on this kind of a big deal it's 15 minutes that people are arguing let's uh, look at my phone a bunch because they just let's see what it says not accepting that things have changed they want to still you know i guess halo is the game to do it because halo was the launch title for the original xbox there's probably people who feel so nostalgic about the series. Like, man, I remember when I had my original Xbox, my copy of Halo, and I pumped it in, and I played it, and I loved it. It felt like the future of gaming and blah, blah, blah. You get that nostalgia factor, right? Okay, I get that. I totally get that. But at the same time, understand that 2021 is not 2001. A space and odyssey. will change over time. Okay? Oh, also, yeah, 9-11. Uh, Carlton Jr. took me $1.50 and says, your assessment of the state of physical gaming media is accurate. If you're only gaming for yourself, but I have a younger family member that I buy Christmas gifts and birthday gifts for, so I still get physical games. I do think people are nitpicking with Halo, though. I, okay, I understand what you're saying, like gift giving. At the very same time... I, I disagree with you. Oh, he would one. say. He would argue. A lot of games Did he stop arguing? A physical box, you open it and there's no I don't think he's been arguing for some time. Even though this uh, the, the pre-stream podcast is nothing but arguing with himself. And arguing with people that don't exist on the internet. Or arguing against an unpopular opinion. It's gonna either there's just a code. That's happening. Very happened. nice. Nintendo games in particular. You buy a Switch game, you open it up, there's a code inside. There's no game. To, uh, not even a game cartridge thing. Nothing. Just yeah, it's just inside. ranting for the sake um, of ranting. Let's just anything, be angry about something. Maybe what they could do is they could have special holiday editions of these games. We're like, even, even think about the only time we're gonna sell physical copies during the holidays. So it's actually like holiday packaging. Right, we red and green box. Okay. You know. So, so better scams that would cost more. You know, the Christmas edition of Halo Infinite, special edition. Okay. You buy it and, you know, but you don't like all that stuff, right? You don't like all those. You, know, you get what? maybe an avatar. That's a Christmas avatar. Okay, now it's good. Code for the game or something like that, and you give it to your 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 family member, your friend for Christmas. I could see that, but like for me, I'd be like, why don't you just buy credits? Why not give what? someone one of those cards? Oh, here's a PlayStation Network card. Here's the Xbox Live card. Go get whatever game you want. Yeah, remember when DSP, uh, back in the day, uh, when it was Christmas and he was uh, playing mobile games, he wanted uh, he asked his relatives, instead of a present, they could give him an iTunes uh, card of credit. Like a, a credit card, you know? He loves those. Um, like a gift card. Yeah, and he used that for mobile games. That was a great bit of lore. Today right yeah I don't here's know. that I do, itunes I gift, saying, gift though, card giving, definitely you could get a little bit of help yourself there, knock know. yourself out pulling those yeah. hogans and in, in the john cena's and the other zombie individuals uh physical media this was one let's see is there yeah. there probably it's not a lot more drama 
left to cover that is recent. Hmm. Can't afford GTA Trilogy. God forbid. This didn't happen. Failed to reach the previous goal. Begs while hiding a tip. Let me see this one. This has a very nice name to it. DSP begs while hiding a tip. I s it's time for a break of the stream. Now, Wonder where he's going to hide it. With you. Super Jets today aren't bad at all. They're pretty okay. Had a, a couple new memberships today. Thank you for that. Uh, tips are the worst I've seen in a very long time. I don't know what's going on today. It's a new release. I'm doing my best to give it an honest try and give it a shot. Uh, and I don't, I, you know, I think now I just after two hours, I'm kind of understanding this is not Dishonored. Don't play it like Dishonored. All right. So okay. I'm going to try not to do that for the rest of today's stream. Does it have Dishonored uh, in the title? The tips are incredibly low. It would be great if we can get. But it was called reward. Death like, Loop. We're not even close to the tier one reward, which is the the glasses. So I'm gonna go on break. I'm gonna come back around 3 p.m. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and there's somebody somebody in his chat is saying, "I just want to bust on myself," and the bust is just capitalized. I just want to bust. And we're gonna play it for about another hour, okay? I would appreciate. If you guys are liking that, I'm checking this game out. A lot of people are already saying, watching me play, and they're getting an idea for what the game is because they were on the fence about it. Um, if you could support the stream, all right? So I will see you all. Actually, there might have been a behind-the-scenes tip. I didn't even think about that. Oh, there might have been a behind-the-scenes oh, tip. <laughs> this guy sucks. This guy stinks. There might have been a behind-the-scenes tip. And I love that that's the, the term for it. That's the actual definition of it, a behind-the-scenes tip. Wow. When somebody tries to, to not be transparent. So other people can think that DSP makes less money. So he can beg more. And get more money. That's how it's called. Behind the scenes fucking tip. Focusing on the game. Let's take a look here. Fantastic content. Fantastic. Remember, there's there's about two people who since... Uh, what? Why is this dark? Never mind. There's about two people that tip him behind the scenes. And he's not even going to say what. Now he's looking at his PayPal. Let's see. This is a terrible segment. Terrible. And he just begged. There's a just... few people that since. Um... Wow, great. A few people. A few people. There was it's a... taken him so long. The issue earlier this year. If you guys remember, earlier this year, uh, my PayPal got screwed up because you couldn't tip me. Because wow. of my stupid stream labs. Uh, some people started tipping me behind the, the scenes, like not using Streamlabs or Stream Elements, and just never stopped. So in this case, yes, there actually was a tip from Silent Bob. Tipped me thirty-seven dollars behind the scenes today, but guys, so thank you to Silent Bob. He was talking a about a few people. Significant tip. And then decided to derail himself into the origin story of uh, e earlier this year. Considering how slow tips have been. Considering how slow they've been. What is this? A twenty-five. 37 that will nice get us up to 54 dollars a tip so when we come back from this break i will have yeah classes. nice and that means looking classic way to the hat goal for the day which would be great if we could hit fucking that. classic okay. also gun runner <clears throat> did a super chat and said something about labor hire i don't know what the fuck you're talking about gun runner but thank you gun runner for for the super chat regardless i don't know what what on earth you think i'm you know <laughs> i really have no clue what you're saying okay all right Let's go on break, guys. Like I said, I'll be back. Let's see DSP Gaming with Streamlabs, because I, I want to see that. Uh, if there's a clip of that. Streamlabs to stream elements. Wow, that's a long one. Stopping for 30 minutes. Playing Divinity. Wow, this is raw. Fucking nice. Let's go check it out. People are saying now the tips aren't working. Well, I got oh, tips no. earlier today, so I don't know what you're talking about. Unable to find this about. broadcast. To my knowledge, nothing's wrong with Streamlabs. What a shame. Refresh here and see if anything happened. My Streamlabs just loaded fine. <laughs> what is this? Why is this fucking dark? Let me man. take a look here. What the fuck? <clears throat> Hold on, I'll check myself. <clears throat> I screwed it up. It's tip, not tips. It still doesn't want to show up. Oh, okay. Did it not work? Did the link not pop up? Did it pop up? Now I can't click it because everyone fucking scrolled. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see him. Well, hold on. There's a few things I can quality. check. Get a load of this. Nervous piggy. Snow crawl, I don't know what to tell you. All right, Let's I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.
and Snow Carl is in chat. He's also complaining. You, my PayPal account is fine. I just Bill, I can't tip you. Working. I wanted to send you a, a quick troll tip. Well, I can't. I, I can't couldn't check do that. The tip link because it fucking scrolled off the screen, so I can't click on it. Oh no. There it is. Streamlabs dark side fill. Okay. So I okay. Gotta do that manually. No, this was a uh, this was an old thing. This is not oh, from Snow Call being now. This is from uh, February twenty third. <clears throat> huh? Did it change the page somehow? And yeah, all these subs. Definitely, it's working for me. Almost six hundred and eighty subs. They're going away soon, buddy. And the uh, uh, this was just they, maybe they changed. This was their right in the beginning of Divinity, I think. Right in the beginning. During the day out of nowhere. When, you, when you're in the ship. People were sending me tips earlier. No problem. What happened so, now, man? Let me take a look here. Uh. See, I don't want that. Okay. Minor derailment. Just a minor one. By the way, I can try and make DSP have a green screen. Let me see if I can do that. Let me take a look at this. I don't Where it's know. gonna chroma key his his uh, his face as well. PayPal is connected. Can do that. Let's see. Oh no, he disappeared completely. Okay, that's not no gonna idea. work. Not gonna work like that. I have absolutely no idea. I don't know what's going on. It sucks because obviously I need tips today. Obviously you know, I need tips today, but it sucks. I got no email about it anywhere. <clears throat> this happened in the middle of the stream too because people already tipped earlier and it worked fine. You know, not a ton of tips today, but it, it tipped earlier and it worked and fine. And big ups, uh, Black so. Avra. For your work day being Looking chill and interactive. <laughs> I don't see anything. I don't see it, man. Come on. It didn't pop up. Yeah, I don't see anything out of the ordinary with any of my settings. Huh? Yeah, you're a page. But why does he even use those? Uh, why does he even use Streamlabs? He can just post his direct PayPal link and have people just go there directly. I don't know why he and used that. It's not found. It must be an error. Maybe it's an error just in general with Streamlabs. Yeah, that's like when there was an error on Twitch. Everything fine on my page. Everything. Is this for everyone? Is this just for me? Yeah. That's here I'm removed for the partnership. Might be some glitch. No, I checked my... I don't see any emails or anything about it. Nope. Like I said, about half an hour ago, I actually got a tip. And it was fine. It worked fine. I got nothing from Streamlabs at all. And I don't know how I could be banned when I've never even heard a word out of Streamlabs about anything like that. <laughs> all of Streamlabs is down. Is that true? So no one's pages are working right now? Streamlabs is down in general. Okay. All right. As long as it, it, you know, it, it's generally broken, you know, there's nothing you can it's do. It's generally that, broken. Right? Let's see if it is. Yeah. Hmm. No, the sex bot okay. is back. So it's not me. Stop that, him. So that just makes me feel he better. He needs to be terminated. Nothing we can do. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, you know, that's the Streamlabs. Now I need to page. open the chat, you know, chat again. It's going to make everybody horny. Stop it. You know, everyone knows. Message my, deleted. Okay, nice. Uh, everyone knows my public email address is darksidefillahotmail.com. That's that's how you can the lean and manual, manual hide to. from channel. But that wouldn't be through Streamlabs. Like that would be something that I would have to check on myself. This is not that see. kind of a stream. As tips came through, but there's not much you could do about. You're gonna it. make it my work, viewers bust. Um, it's not busting you guys. Get serious. Yeah. Attendance is gonna get low. <laughs> gonna get uh, too low attendance. To directly. The problem is that I wouldn't be able to see any. People are gonna open a anything, separate right? tab with some uh, OnlyFans content. <clears throat> So there's not much I could do about that. Sucks. All right. Anyway, hopefully it comes back soon. No, I told you to stop busting. Stop soon. saying that you're gonna bust. Well, let's see here. 
It's not that JB, type of stream. You your You're your derailing the stream by busting. Time? I don't know. There's some tough ones. Like, I think... Honestly, There's like people the at work right now. They're Yakuza gonna bust. Here, Don't do that. Because I played so many Yakuza games, and Yakuza was one of the ones. Why is he talking about Yakuza? People can't give him tips. Like viewer's choice, so. It's a, it's an Maybe emergency. It's people yes, asking him about right. fucking it, Yakuza. Again, it works. I just logged in. Everything's fine on my end. It seems like it's a Streamlabs issue. That maybe stream like people are saying Streamlabs just seems to be down in general. Um, Hurdy Hurdy man, thanks for the cheer. He's saying, <laughs> he's talking about Ukraine. I don't know. I'm gonna ignore it. Thank you for the cheer. Just ignore it, Phil. All right. That's good. So there's nothing I can do about it, guys. I apologize. It sucks. Obviously, I need tips. I don't know what else to tell you. <clears throat> I really don't know what else to tell you. And Streamlabs didn't contact me or say anything. Um, are people saying other streamers' pages work? Okay, what would you like me to do? Yeah, we got How people exactly feeling like sleepy now. This issue that no, I this would destroy the and economy. People are saying that Streamlabs in general is having issues. <laughs> so how would you like me to fix that? Because other streamers' Great. pages work. Exactly. Okay, because they uh, they derailed like, the your page. You it was about? erroneously exactly. leaned like, in. Do you think I run Streamlabs? Lean in manual hide. Did I work there? And I can fix this? Is that what it is? <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I did start start early today. Now let's see. Lean in manual checking Streamlabs. The new segment. Yeah, I have no idea what happened. You're probably getting sleepy because of the, the Skyrim music. It's way too relaxing. Okay. What can Sounds I do good. This exactly? All right? Nothing. Nothing. No one Just give them your me. direct Stream PayPal Labs link. Not saying that I'm banned. Tell them to all. send you checks. Right? I'm looking. I'm oh, that's gonna be the new thing. People are gonna be sending him checks, but with like a blank thing, so he can just write it down, whatever he wants. That's a great way to show, so he can decide how much they tip him. Staring at it right now, and everything is working. <laughs> yeah, he got so pissed he couldn't get the tips. Now it's the viewer's fault. There, everything is working. I'm, you know. And you're right. When I go to it, it says we're unable to find Probably the, the trolls, which makes no sense because everything is working. I don't know. Did From they did they also ghost him? Is this? Yeah, there's more to this video. They also ghosted him. I think they didn't tell him what was wrong with him. Just like Teespring, just like Twitch. Perspective. When I look at this screen, nice salt. everything is up and running. All I can taste is salt. <clears throat> you know. Uh, why would I all of a sudden me not be there? I don't know. How can I fix this? I don't know, right? The only thing I could do is try to set up an alternate an alternate thing. You know, I don't know how I would do that though. It's the thing is it's going through stream everything. You know, all my my notifications go through Streamlabs, so. You guys could tip me directly, which would be great, but then I wouldn't be able to- By the way, for those of you who know who uh, Jussie Smollett is, Smollett, Smollett, whatever. Uh, yeah, the, the, the trial started now and it's hilarious. Well, to see any messages, that's the problem. He the pretended only one that I know the, of is what, Muxy? The problem is if I go back to Muxy, yeah, that one- Yeah, pretended to get assaulted issues. and it was people fake. People could actually, like, people could legit- It was a fake assault. On Muxy send you a fake tip and it wouldn't even come through it wasn't even like there was fraud they just yeah it might be a juicy smoile was that was that how fucking uh dave Chappelle called him not send the real tip and then it would screw everything up. i don't know if they fixed that or not you know because <laughs> he was uh it was a whole ass hoax and in the end it turned out that the two guys that attacked him that were supposedly redneck like maga people were actually two Nigerian guys and he paid them and he also now it got revealed that he masturbated with one of them which whatever that means so yeah he's a he's a lol cow now officially <laughs> I'm not even fucking joking yeah, that's know. exactly what I happened what tell ya. Well, I don't know I, I wouldn't even know how to go about fixing this at all and yeah, wait, we're, we we're back to fucking busting. Now it makes complete sense why we get all the porn bots all the time. Actually, today. Today was the first day. But yeah. I'll stop. So for those watching on YouTube, sorry, this will be a short part. I have to look into this, obviously, so.
All right. Yeah. Well, this guy is still com completely confused. So I recording for YouTube. I guess Look at I the fucking derailments, man. I'm looking everywhere here. Derailed all the chill. Like I said, it doesn't seem to have any any indication that anything's gone wrong on my end. Everything it has my link is still here. Oh, he did nothing wrong, you so know? that's nice to hear. It still shows every like all the information. Nice to hear for here. once. So. And actually, he's from a show I, that I've seen, the Jussie Smollett guy. He's from a show that I've watched, and he plays a very good character in that one. No idea. Huh. Hold on. So it, Streamlabs is, someone just said Streamlabs is, is having problems that there are other streamers having the same problem right now. There's a big World of Warcraft streamer who's having exactly the same issue on stream right now. Okay, yeah, here's uh, here's one of the articles. Empire, yeah, Empire was nice. It was very funny. And wait, Did they tweet glitched. anything? Did Streamlabs actually just tweet this. anything about this? Former Empire actor took the stand in his criminal trial Monday in a high-stakes attempt to rebut charges that he staged a fake hate crime and lied to Chicago police about it in January 2019. Last week, the brothers, uh, Bola and Ola, testified that Smollett, 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 that guy, who is black and gay, directed and paid them to carry out a sham anti-gay and racist attack in order to garner sympathetic media coverage. In their testimony, as well as that of five Chicago police officers, uh, formed the core of the prosecution's case against Molly, that individual. And now there's here. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything about it. I don't know what's going on. Oh, wow. He blamed them for getting him drugs, including cocaine. Uh, he also said a sexual relationship became to forge between the two at a particular said, bathhouse. Nothing, I didn't get anything from anyone. And yeah, they... There's an issue. Okay, It'll now it says they were in a private room and made out whatever. and made out a little bit and <laughs> masturbated together. Okay. Nice. So that's... That's the context of the truth of the matter. I'm sorry for the derailment. Uh, back to Phil. Who still is uh, where, no, where no, we some left people them. are saying other people are having issues others are saying there's no one else is having issues <laughs> they have their own pre-stream art that's a great fucking comment yeah they do definitely they were in an office all right well give me a second let me go to my pc and take a look and see what's going on i don't see anything though i don't see anything on my end where it shows anything wrong He's going to check on Streamlabs. He's going to their office. So first off, See, so Mr. Brunel, here. I submitted a help request. You oh, help request. You have to fill out a big, uh, you know, a big form or whatever. But I had to fill out uh, a, a form that basically just explain what's going on. All right, so that's number one. Now I'm going to check out my settings and stuff and try to figure out my settings if anything's going awry or whatever, because I don't know. Okay, so give me a second. <laughs> Why is he just leaning in? He's not even on camera. Honestly, so I don't silly. Know. I'm looking at. I can't figure out anything. I can't. I, oh, here's it's just thing. as as always. Yeah, can't figure out anything. Where Streamlabs was like, for example, banning me or something. It would it would just ban me outright. Streamlabs wouldn't work for me at all. This is it what this just... is what uh, he always says. If they wanted to ban me, if I did something wrong, they would just ban me. They did. It'd be like, oh, the tips page won't load. It would be, it just doesn't exist. It's probably a gradual process of deleting all his info from the server. And it starts from, first of all, let's make sure that nobody can give him money since we're going to take him off. And then we're going to do all the other stuff. So yeah, that's kind of the beginning. Right? Like, I would have nothing. I'd log in. It would say you're big. Yeah, they were, they were doing... <laughs> uh, oh, I had to mute to, uh, the mic. Cough. Uh, they were doing a co-op playthrough and they busted. Account doesn't exist. <laughs> They're doing co-op busting. That you guys have been cheering. It's like just like DSP and Rambo. It's Jesse Smollett and and Ola. And subbing and all that's showing up. Uh, in Streamlabs and my Streamlabs is still logged in. It's still working. So why is it that all the Twitch integration is working, but not the tipping? Doesn't make sense, right? Fujibin is saying if you if you search for Streamlabs down on Google, they're having issues. 
Okay. So, uh, all, there's nothing I can really do to fix this issue. See, look, Pretty Gritty Man just subscribed, and, it, and there it is. It works. Streamlabs is still working. Yeah, but that's with yeah. the sub. I actually don't know what happened to this. I don't know the Dialogue, actual talking. lore to it. Um, there's so much more to this waiting yeah. segment. So honestly, I don't know what. Well, I don't do. know. I can't do anything at this point. Um, I sent them a help request, but you have to go through their whole help desk system. So I put that in. Um, <clears throat> but I, I don't know what else to say. Like I know, I know my PayPal is working. I can still log in. There's no issues. My PayPal works. I can still log in the Streamlabs. There's no issues. That works. It's just for some reason, the Streamlabs page won't load, which makes no sense that the tips page just won't load. Everything else works. If there was a, if, you know what I mean? Like there should be an issue where, like, for example, if it was PayPal, my PayPal account would have an issue. Let's see if I can make him green. Or wouldn't let me log in or whatever. It's going to be like That's Shrek. Case. Um, this key is just too know, boring to watch thing. raw. Let's With, see if uh, we can color correct. And uh, if, if Streamlabs itself, was screwed up and and done let's say i got banned from streamlabs oh then no i wouldn't be able to it's see cheers or, or or subs coming through it so i have no idea i have no clue at all what's going on right here i'm going i'm gonna keep playing what? by the way no. we'll play for about another half an hour and then we'll take a, a oh break. we're gonna keep playing okay it just sucks like i have absolutely no idea what's going on here um wow well, look he's green not what i was trying Directly, I've never encountered this ever. And it I'm is what it is. Streamlabs now. I, I used Muxy. For yeah, it was night year. vision. We're going I dark. To streaming in 2017. We're going dark. Around 2018 is when I went to Streamlabs. So it's been three years. I haven't had an issue like this. It's like in Call of Duty. Zero, you know, none. So I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. Like we said, we understand at this point. Let's say something else. How about something different? I need <laughs> Penny. Well, I don't know. We already had, we had wagers going, but I don't know what the wagers are today because I've been paying attention to RPG. It's very different than doing wagers during other technical difficulty with Streamlabs. That's inexplicable, and I hope okay. we can look into it and fix it. I derailed there. I don't know again what's going on. I'm sorry, I got derailed uh, there. What I'm gonna have to do? Let me get us out of here. Oh no, this is okay. nine out of a hundred. What I'm gonna have to do God is take damn. a break here about 20, 25 minutes when we come. But that's so silly. Why didn't he just give him the direct PayPal link? If he's so desperate, there, you can just go on PayPal, share it, and that's it. Pin it to chat or whatever. Come back, there'll be about an hour left. But on instead, there's nothing I can do. On stream, uh, and we'll see what happens if the Streamlabs page comes back or not. I have no idea why it's down and not working. And until I get an answer from them, uh, there's nothing much I can do about it. Can't do anything, man. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I got nothing. Hello? For now? I got nothing. Hello? Yeah. So, For now? we'll take a break, all right? Um, take a break. Okay, he's got nothing. We'll take a break. We'll see he's like uh, Whitney Houston, that song. So, it doesn't make... Worst case scenario, it looks like I may have to switch up and not use Streamlabs anymore. I don't know what's okay. going on with it, but I need to be able to accept tips right now. Only having nine dollars in tips is terrible. You know, this is a premier stream, counting on income, and now I'm not getting it, which sucks. Especially with tomorrow's my day off. So yeah, that does kind of suck. Did you get a response from them? So it is what it is. Let's take a break. I'll be back. Hmm. See what happens after the break. Go from there, and maybe by tonight I'll have to have a new thing set up. People are basically saying. Oh yeah, and the uh, notification stuff. That, yeah, it was after this stream. Uh, what is it? Uh, stream. I stream ascent. What is it? Stream essentials, stream elements. Stream doesn't even know. Elements, right? Stream doesn't elements is apparently what everyone thinks, everyone's apparently. using now. So I guess I could try to figure that out. Okay. Yeah, I don't Sounds know. Sounds good. And by the way, as you notice, if you have, I'm just completely ignoring all these idiot trolls in the chat. I'm just wasting my idiot time. Idiot trolls. Them. Okay. All right, guys, let's take a break. I'll be back after the break. Intended. Okay. Now we have. Uh, yeah. Stream I don't elements. Know what's going on Epic. with my tips or anything? Okay, um, first off, I did get a form letter response from Streamlabs saying they're backed up on request today and they'll get back to me as soon as they can. <laughs> All right, so since that's not working in the interim, I set up a temporary solution. I don't know if this even works or not, but the tips command should work again because now we're linked to a completely different service. 
Yeah. All right. A milestone. I just basically very quickly made a new account. You guys somewhere. love these changes. Uh, jumped in, and uh, <clears throat> and now the tips should work again. Now, if you guys will contribute today via tipping to try this out, I would appreciate it, especially because tips are essential for me. And the fact that now I am so, 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 so slammed with derailed. people talking about this. Um, and the fact that it's very important that this was a premiere stream for me. I was hoping to make some income and I made $9. It would definitely help out if you guys could contribute via tipping. All right. If it works, I don't actually know if it works. I have no clue. <clears throat> we have to test it. Today. No, the porn okay. bot is, is back. You're getting so, the lean in manual. There's no way. This bot said it's not working. Why is it not working? Let me do that one. About? Lean in manual high. The command's not working because you guys are spamming it. Someone already did it, and then all of you spammed it at once, so it's not going to work. It takes about like a two minute cooldown or a three minute cooldown for a command. So you got to relax. <laughs> okay. They're banned completely. Okay. Very nice. Rip. You guys Rip sex you just keep spamming the command. Expect that it's going to work now. We, we can. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they keep spamming the command to troll him. Here. Now he's going to think, oh my God, I'm going to get. So many people, everyone wants to tip because they couldn't It'll yesterday. Work once it cools down, okay. Gone. I don't know exactly what the, I'm trying to see what the manual link is. The lean in manual tip. If I can find the manual link for you guys, I will. Hold on, because some people wanting to try to use it. This should be it. Let me put it into the stream chat. All right, I'm gonna put the manual link in here. There it is. Yeah. The manual link. Lean and manual link. That's fucking awesome. Is there anything interesting here? Hello? Is it still about the manual link? Please don't tell me. Oh, it's here we go. It. Okay. He figured out how to do it on stream. Tipped me four dollars twenty cents and actually awesome. did a. Code word, which I will not read, but thank you to tie uh, me up for a $4.20 tip. What did he say? Horse? Uh, up to nine, Uber? A code word? Tips. The fuck does that even mean? A then code I received, word. But it's for all the sleeper agents. They're going to wake up and start trolling Phil. And attacking his family. I'm not going to read. Um, Beast Bod to me $1.30. He says, I'm in. Let's party. Thank you, Beast Bod. That tip came through. Spawn Killer to me $1.30. He said, hello. Thank you, Spawn Killer. That tip came through. Cobra Kaiser to right. be $10. It came I hope through. This works. It did, Cobra Kaiser. It's Thank fucking you. Yeah. awesome. But the top tipper so far of the day is Battle Duck 9000 from Verizon, who tipped me $50 and said, Can you hear me now? And the answer is yes, I can hear you. Thank you very it was much the for the gravy tip. train, the... baby. I was making huh? insane amounts okay. of money. Like dirty, rotten. This is way too much fucking money for just playing video games kind of money. Ispamed his Patreon with patreon.com barra de sottolineatura eclectic sottolineatura academic discussing a philosophical analysis on tiding, then patreon.com barra dante sottolineatura ligieri to mock his illiteracy. He called him a Oh no, she couldn't get through all this. I called him a scammer running a Ponzi scheme via messages. F uh, for prayer hands. F for prayer hands in chat, please. You have to. Because she's... The Italian lady, don't expect too much from her. She's uh she's working here for free. But uh thanks for this tip bomb. Eclectic academic. That on the leaderboard. Yeah, let's get him up on the leaderboard. Oh my god. Having a vest for the stream. <clears throat> awesome. What I'm gonna have to try to figure out is you know, this is just very basic stuff I'm doing right now. And I okay. don't really know, you know, I don't know the ins and outs of how to get this to work fully. Um, okay. I need to mess with it. You're not supposed to be saying this on your professional stream that you do for, for a living, bro. Come on. Just don't it's say it. It's a new it. system. Right. A new system. It's a new system. I don't know much about it. So I got to work on this and try to get it working. Um. So, for example, if I click on this. Yeah, see, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Sounds good. I will have to mess with this a little bit. 
Well, yeah, please I'm mess with it on your own one, time. Because I have no idea how to Full get Full-ass boomer segment. Um, An entire in one. Regard. Huh. Timbal Slice Trees, I hope this doesn't affect your day off tomorrow. It would suck if that affects it. It shouldn't. Like I said, what I'll do is during the break, I'll sit down with this a little more and try to figure out exactly what's happening um, with it. What I'm seeing is it looks like yeah, what I need to figure out is some of the stuff that I could do on Streamlabs that's pretty important. But I just don't have time to do it now because I need to play games now, you know? So I'll have to mess with this a little bit after the break and and go from there. Okay, guys? Fair enough? All right. Let's, uh... All right. And with this boring shit, I'm going to leave you. Now let's listen to some Liquid Richard. Some uh, Liquid Beats. And that's going to be it. And it's going to be the depression song because I like that one. So thanks everybody for sticking around today. Thank you for the chill. Thank you for uh, chatting and super chatting and donating and uh, supporting. And I'm going to see you next time. All right. Sounds good. I agree with you. I agree with you. The other thing good. that's very alarming is that, is that I need to that money. I need no, that money. Oh my God! That was my, my treasure. That was my treasure. <laughs> that was my Big ups, Prophet, for his super chat says, I'm gonna go bust. Okay, go bust now. You can go bust. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you again. Most hated man, but I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I and I have to play games for a living. And I have to play games for a living. They're trying to save my pedophile now. Blame me for pain. Blame me for pain. I'm no longer playing any kind of computer game. I shake the earth when I move. I shake the earth when I move. I don't want to improve. I don't want to improve my stream. I shake the earth when I move. I shake the earth when I move. I don't want to improve. I don't want to improve. When you're 450 pounds, you have trouble wiping your ass, man. 500 pound man that has nothing to live for. I've been sent four hookers, four hookers. Everybody sucks, Jordan. I don't want my ass legs. I really want to. I got him. Hookers. I got him. I shake the earth Again. when I move. I shake the earth when I move. I don't want to improve. I agree with you. I don't want to improve my stream. I shake the earth when I move. I shake the earth when I move. I don't want to improve. I saw Jasper in the I don't want to improve. Richard albums that come out just recently yeah, they take really lyrics or yeah. words that I've said throughout a stream and they edit them together okay go have a business related modular Pepsi with a V6 Mustang I'll see you around <laughs>